Throw up the block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. Better yeah. off the worst, I took the good with I'm the bad, yeah. yeah. I done took a ride in there, they all come and lay, yeah. yeah. I done yeah. took the road down, where they kill me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, are you ready? And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. Once again, it's your host, Mr. Lawton. I got another special guest once again, a reoccurring guest, you know what I'm saying? Before I introduce him, you know how I do it. I bring you the hottest artists, the legendary artists, the icons, the up and coming and everything in between. You know what I'm saying? Today, we're going to get to our sponsors. Shout out Soul Lounge, you know what I'm saying, for hooking me up with some of this ooh weed. I got that Cali Green Gold. I got that uh, Exotics over here. I got some of that, uh, what you call it, that Shroom Fizz over here. So, y'all make sure y'all tap in. Link be in the description and everything like that. Now, back to me. Man, like I say, right here, I got a Pioneer, you know what I'm saying, sitting right next to me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already been seeing the clips that I've been dropping, but we finna do it solo dolo today. You know what I'm saying? I want to introduce Champ. What's up, Champ? So with you, man. Man, what's going down, baby? You, we back in the hot seat, man. Shit. Yeah. What brings you back? <laughs> Shit. How you been doing? Good, man. No, nah, really, man. That's good to hear, man. Yeah, man. I, shit. Just wanted to come back, man, and... Shit, fill in some gaps or whatever. Right, you know what right. I'm so, so yeah. for my viewers out there, man, let, let's let's take it back. Let's let's talk about how it was and your experience coming up for the Grove and where did the Grove start to get greedy and what greedy come from? <laughs> man, my whole my whole perspective on that. Uh, I really think it was you know it was our generation. Right. You know what I'm saying. Uh, Started like that 89, 90, 91, 92 era, you know what I'm saying, coming up, seeing it. And like over time, it just progresses. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just like now, everything's stepping up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So just, yeah, man, like, shit, everybody had spots, you know right. what I'm saying? And shit, everybody had networking going on, you know what I'm saying? And like one point in time, like, you know, niggas was really loving each other, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And shit, you know, like everything else, you know, people always, you know what I'm saying, watching the other person mm -hmm. and shit, letting outside niggas come in, you know what I'm saying, infiltrating, you know what I'm saying, and voila, you know what I'm saying. One point of time, man, because shit, niggas, niggas was really, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing, but it's like, I don't know, man, it's like niggas just started snaking each other and doing shit. And, I don't know, man. It's just, <laughs> and that's where the greedy come from. Yeah, man. Cause you know what I'm saying. Shit, everybody gotta eat. Right, everybody gotta eat. You right. know what I'm saying. So, like, well, I don't know. Jeal jealousy and you know envy and shit. You know, even mm -hmm. separated the best of partners. Right. You know what I'm saying. So, it just started being shit. Dog eat dog world. You know what I'm saying. Eat greedy, nigga. Or, right. Or don't have shit. Right. You know what I'm saying. Like when you have all them pits and you. You got one bowl and you put that food out. Yeah. Five pits, everybody, they going for it. Yeah. Yeah. So Let the best man win. So, the greedy, like, when the first time you even heard, heard that? <sighs> or has, that, has it always been there? Man, I just I just feel like it always been there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, shit, you, you had to be a go-getter. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you got... Competition from all sides, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, like, just pretty much in a nutshell, man, you just got to keep your head on swivel, man, and just go for what you know, you know right. what I'm saying? Um, it used to be respect, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, time goes on, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit go out the window, right? you know what I'm saying? Like. Man, it's, it's a lot to process. You know what I'm it's saying? It's a lot to process because yeah. because at one point in time it was like we it was it was it was just it was just busy, bro. Like right. shit just going on. You know what I'm right. saying? And had yeah, the city going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to find their place. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I don't know, man. It's like sometimes you know what I'm saying when 
when the wrong people come around, you know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's like for everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like when you let the wrong people come around, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Something bound to fuck up, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So but I, but I mean like, nigga, I I love everything shit about the grow, man. Like, it's different, nigga, but it's still Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just you just gotta be there to understand, like, at two or three in the morning, shit, niggas shooting dice at the car wash. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You don't see no laws shit nowhere. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Shit. They be they be playing like you know what I'm saying? But them laws don't want to fuck with them youngsters and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they be out there. Yeah, man. I mean, like, shit, it's 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 real, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't, I don't know niggas, I don't know if niggas be thinking shit soft, you know what I'm saying, or what it is, but shit, we be chilling. And I, hell, everybody in the Grove, though. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? That's grow, what make it good. But I think the Grove always had respect, though, because, you know, everybody yeah. came out there to fuck with somebody in the Grove. You know Man, what I'm, I'm telling you. Especially even the SA, because the SA is out there wild as hell, too. And we going out fucking with everybody. Yeah, fucking with everybody, man. What's up, man? What is uh, EGP? EGP? Oh, is it e or EPG? Or EDP? You talking about what? East Dallas Project? No, nah, not East Dallas Project. What? what? Is, um, I know I'm saying it right because you said it in one of your songs. And you said something about EPG or EGP or something like that. Or uh, Pleasant Grove. Is it Pleasant Grove or something? Uh, or am I tripping? If I'm tripping, know. just let know. me know. I don't know, bro. Okay. I'm serious. Like, I'm. Nah. I mean, shit, you know, shoot, you know, we respected uh, military, you know what Oh, saying? military was hot. Yeah, yeah military yeah, mob, yeah, military, you know what I'm saying? That's what grip from, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's what grip from, yeah. it's military, okay. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, military, St. Francis, yeah. all those, stuff. yeah, those are spots. Yeah. Yeah, those are spots. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, St. Francis and all that. Mm. Oh, them Delito, all that shit mm. over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what it was like? For you, what schools you was you was tapping? I know you went to Spruce, you know, and stuff like that. What was Spruce like? Uh, shit, Spruce was cool, man. Yeah. Spruce taught you some shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Any ball players come out of there? Uh, what's his name? Maceo? That's a Maceo? Uh, what's that nigga? His last, yeah, nigga named Maceo. Nigga uh, played basketball. Okay. Tall ass nigga. But he, he was cold with that, uh, that ball though, man. Yeah, he where he go and end up playing it. Shit. They don't even remember. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> but you know Hell he was nah. called. Yeah, that yeah, ball. yeah. Yeah. Nah, so like I went to school with Kenya Morton and got damn Brian Adams. Oh, okay. okay. That, that nigga there was cool in a bit. Okay, shit. What was like coming up with him? You <laughs> play you played with him? Hell, I ain't playing no basketball. Football, yeah, yeah. But they basketball, but nigga tall and shit. So they used to score on us, you know, collar big with short arms and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just talking shit, man. Yeah. But nah, that nigga cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that shit was straight. So, like, in this process of coming up in the Grove, like, and I always, like, from the last interview, like, I ain't really get to tap in with you and understand, like, who in the Groves influencing y'all to rap? Like, who was out rapping? Y'all come, coming up 89, 90, 91. Like, who was out in the Grove uh, at that time that was making y'all want to rap? Shit. Man, I, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Let's see, what, 89, 90, 91? Shit. Nigga, nigga, like, nigga was listening to music. But it was like, if, if at that point in time, we didn't know if it was local or, you know what I'm saying, out of state. We, we just listened to music, you know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, okay. I mean, hell, we going to school and shit or whatever. We probably knew people's names and shit, but hell, we didn't know where they were from, you know right, what I mean? Right. So, but shit, I can't tap into it like that. No, no, no. Let me see. Nah, nigga, uh, motherfucking, that nigga, nigga's Jack Cottonmouth Jesse, my nigga. Yo, he from with, with that PKO. Yeah, with that PKO. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that PKO and was And we wanted to listen time. then, we would listen to uh, Infrared. Infrared? Yeah, okay. Infrared. 
Man, I, I had a brain fart for a minute, forgive me. Yeah, yeah. you good, you good. Infrared, okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Shit, who else were you listening to? You remember the singing group Destiny? No. Mm -mm. no that, that was a cold group from back in the day in Dallas. They came up, you know, Erica Badu and all that when she was oh, rapping at Apples. Yeah, Erica yeah. Badu, I love Erica Badu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Uh, now, nah, who we listen? We listen to Pimpster. Uh, she we listen to Nemesis. That's what made niggas start putting the the uh, together. tape decks together. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> we just wanted to hear ourselves on some shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, who was y'all DJ? Shit, us. Y'all was y'all on DJ too? No, I'm just saying like we just you know what right, I'm saying? right. That's how I tell you I had met Cottonmouth that time. Okay, how you, okay how you meet Cottonmouth? So. I was already jamming uh, PKO and shit like that. And uh, my auntie had uh, this shop called The Jams on Lake June and uh, Masters at the time, you know what I'm saying? And uh, she would tell him, you know what I'm saying, he was gonna come up there and be signing autographs and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So in the midst of that, I brought this nigga, I remember the tape, it was like a minute large tape. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I put the paper and record it over. Right. And uh, oh, what's the what's that nigga name? Who instrument I use? Uh, Short Stack. Short Stack. Uh, he had this song. I think Living the Life in the Ghetto, whatever it was. But I wrapped off the instrumental, so I take it to the nigga man. You know what I'm saying? Cause on the cool, I kind of fanned out. Cause I done met somebody that actually rapped that nigga. I didn't see you on the you know what so what you're on the yeah. CD or tape. Yeah. So right. shit. Boop, give him the motherfucking tape. Nigga come to find out, nigga, he threw the bitch in the trash. But I got mad at first, but then I was like, fuck it. Right. Nigga, I'm I'm just gonna do better. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was it was a, a negative that turned to a positive that made me just wanna keep fucking with the music. You know right. what I'm saying? Cause just like shit. Better look next time, I'll just try again, you know what I'm saying? Right, Type right. shit. So I just started writing. You know what I'm saying? Learning a little shit and you know what I'm saying? Then over there, uh, we was over there in the grove and shit, like we was in high school and shit. Yeah. Fucking with my partner named Miller. And uh me and him started goddamn rapping and shit. Okay. Writing songs and shit. And uh shit. I don't even know how that died off. But I was still interested in it. Shit, nigga, cause I used to hook up goddamn car speakers in the bedroom and listen to instrumental. Cause me and my uh, neighbor here, we did the same shit. He had his shit what, turned the, up beating. What, what'd you say, car speakers? Yeah. So don't you know you need a battery? Nah. What we would do is we would take a, a house radio and go find an amp off of like one of them big ass oh, old school radios, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Uh -huh. So we cut the wires, come back, splice and put them together and give more power to the radio to okay. push the speakers. All right, okay. So okay. we was already doing that shit, you know right, what I'm saying? But right. it's in our room, you know what I'm saying? Bitch banging, windows right. rattling, so that was cool. No, nah, facts, facts. Yeah. yeah. No, no, we always Yeah, wear, especially listening to Nemesis drop the bass. Yeah, when they say yeah. it's a will, there's a way. <laughs> what? It is a will, there's a Straight way. We're going to get it done, you know what I'm saying? And Nemesis, they going to have the munchies for your bass. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Shout out Nemesis, you know what I'm saying? For real, two times, you know? For real, those that's the pine, them pioneers. No matter of fact, them legends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Innovators and motivators, participators and never haters. You know what I'm saying? And always congratulators. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. souls of sin. Like, yeah. what was in your mind to even come up with the name of souls of sin? Like, where did that really actually just come from? I know you just thinking y'all need a, a rap group, but that means something. Man. So, it was me, my partner running things, and this other guy named Scotty C. Uh, man, we really bullshitting around with it. So, we went to this, uh, cause like I said, that uh, we, we used to call ourselves PGN. A psychotic gangster nigga, but we were gonna call ourselves Pleasant Grove niggas, but that shit that sounded you know, too, too basic. So, right. we, first we said psychotic gangster niggas, then, uh, we went to this uh this white dude in Garland named Goat. You know what I'm saying? Uh he had a studio, but it was like a heavy metal type studio. I don't know how the fuck running things met this man. She was weird as hell, but I'm finna tell you, bro, she was funny. 
So, you know, he had a set up and all that shit. But like I said, like they were recording <coughs> heavy metal shit. And uh, he started playing some shit. And then uh, the nigga Scotty C started saying some shit. He just like, so, so, sin. And he was hitting that bitch. We was like, damn, what the fuck you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And so, shit. It went from there. You know what I'm saying? Fine. Can't, can't let that go to waste. You nah. know what I'm saying? Because we lit. Yeah. You know yeah, we saying? lit, man. Man, see, you, man, man, matter of fact, speak, speaking of lit, I don't mean to interrupt your story. You want, you want to try some of these edibles? Man, shout out to my sponsor, man. Like, he got me hooked up, man. Ooh, man I, got, I got watermelon, man. I got green apples. You know what I'm saying? I got the. Uh, man, I'm going to have to eat mango. off of them little bitches for me. I got to drive, nigga. Man, good, man. <laughs> Man, shit, you'll be, you'll be able to drink. <laughs> nah, I'm bullshit. I fucks with them, though. Yeah, I yeah. fuck with them edible, though, on the oh, cool. You, oh, you know you want to try one? What, uh, what flavor you got? What you I, got I, got, I got mango. I got lemon. You know what I'm saying? I got watermelon. You know what I'm saying? I always say black folks like watermelon, man. That's a... that's a What, watermelon? Green apple player. Green apple. See you know what I'm saying? That's what black folks like. You like green apple. You know what I'm saying? God damn, we... We got we got we, we like to eat stuff that produce water. Uh 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 no pun in <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I said water. no pun in <laughs> Yeah. God damn me, you know what I'm saying? Man, what the hell wrong? Well that goddamn that goddamn uh damn, I feel sorry for that man, bro. That did it. That did it, man. Man, I feel but but shit. Man, let man, man say. 2,000 bottles of baby oil. How many of these can't no baby oil? Nigga, nah. Who we, that goddamn dry though, man? Nigga, the, nigga, nigga, the I'm stoves. I'm just saying, bro. Nigga, the stoves don't even carry that many, many cases. bottles of, of cases of that's, baby nigga, oil. Nigga, that's like a pallet of cases, bro. <laughs> they, you know, they, that's a pallet of cases. They say his bodyguards and the workers and his, everybody's housekeepers, all that, have that shit. Ready to go at the hotels when they get there. Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Man, I don't know how to open this mug. I don't know what's this mug. I need some yeah, that's, fuck, that's fucked up, yeah. man. Okay, I'm going to open that up. You that's know what I'm saying? Up, man. God damn it. But, uh, yeah, man, I don't understand. I mean, I know the talk's been going on for years about Diddy. You know, um, a lot of people been really waiting on this, you know what I'm saying? But I know it started off at the top of the year, even though Jaguar White been 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 screaming this, you know what I'm yeah, saying? About shout it. out to Jaguar. Yeah, she been screaming it. But when Cat Williams said what he said on that Shannon Sharp show. Man, that Shay did Shay, it, bro. Man, he was like, sometimes you got to tell a Diddy, you got to, I don't want a party. <laughs> that was it, you know what I'm saying? Then it was kind of like icing on the cake because you already went on Dream Tracks with Nori, and then you telling, um, Fab. you know what I'm saying, like, nah, nah, we need to really, really party. So everybody like, how, can you, you, talk about? Yeah, yeah. how can you really, really party? You know yeah. what I'm saying? How much partying can you do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, goddamn me. I mean, shit, I know I done been to them white boy parties. <laughs> True story, I'm gonna tell you, say, man. Man, that's crazy. I went to, man, me and my partner, man, my partner Dre, man, he look like Tupac, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm with my other partner, L.A. and all that. And we out there in Colleyville. I ain't never, I don't know what Colleyville is. We get out there, man. We go out to the, the pink people house, man. And it's a, like a mansion, like almost tight, you know, like big old house. They having a party. My partner knew a white boy over there, man. You can just, we pull up to his house. It's like in the middle of nowhere, number land. You know what I'm talking about? You got to drive in the land to yeah. his house. He didn't hit no doors on their house. They got shed full of guns, everything. You know what I'm saying? We just walked through there, boom, boom, boom. They got dogs, everything. I'm like, man, what type of stuff is this? My partner kicking with him, right? So he was like, man, he, he take us to the good part of town. You know what I'm saying? With other rich people here that live yeah. civilized. You know what I'm saying? They got street names and shit. <laughs> so we get over there. And um, we get there, man. There's a whole bunch of white people in the party. There you go, take you, some, take you some little tabs like that. There's a whole bunch of white people in the party. And, uh, man, he, the girls, they all passed out oh, and everything. Oh, I'm talking about 
they hung over, they passed out, they slumped over. I'm talking about I always seen white boys going in the room with I said, nah, huh, get me out of here, partner. I said, nah, get me out of here now. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you getting, what you got, yeah. what you came to see, nigga. We got this time to go. I don't know what this white boy on or nothing like that, but you ain't finna catch me nothing here. But none of them were doing none of that, nothing. I don't yeah. care to get me out. You know what I'm saying? So That's crazy. For Diddy to be on that, it's like, like what what do money really make you do? Shit. Anything as we see. I mean, you got Diddy coming here and huh. you have him all the way transitioning to, to to coming and messing with folks in Dallas. You got TD, he got TD Jakes all in the tabloids for messing with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, man. That's fucked up though. I mean, like. I can't speak on that. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Which is, you know, which is yeah. crazy. You know, it's like, I hear the talks. I see the I see all the uh, YouTube videos mm -hmm. about it, you know, um, and it just it's just a sad situation, shoot, because it just seemed like every time, especially our people, when we get to a certain height, it's like we always get it taken. We always come down. They always got a way to pin us because it's like, yeah, Diddy might did what he did, but it was bigger than that because the way he did it, yeah, you know what I'm saying for the feds to. Run up in there like they was some other there. shit. Yeah, you got you got tapes on everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like Eddie Elec Griffin. election time coming up here, so cause hell, he been out and about this long. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Allegedly, you know what I'm saying? He got tapes on everybody. That's you know what crazy. I'm just like that the Epstein thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you like he just mysteriously passed away in prison. Nah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He had stuff on everybody. You know how I know. That you know, motherfucking island and shit, right? Man. Yeah. You got everybody signing in, signing out. You got. They, the, they doing the, NDAs and all that shit. Man, I don't know if you've seen it, but on, on Prime, they got they got the show about it, how they had the perfume. The perfume was hypnotizing them. The, or the perfume was the, the was the date rape. Yeah. Man, that shit throw. I ain't never watched the shit. It's on me. Better go check it out on Prime. The perfume huh. is the date rape. They giving the, they giving them care packages and or whatever the stuff that is when they get ready to come to the islands and stuff like that. And everybody, oh, oh, what did say? What, what that boy say on that? Got him. <laughs> I'm damn. like, damn, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. It was some freaky motherfuckers, man. man. Think about man. You yeah. got to do all that, man. That's some weird ass shit. Why when they got all these porn hub people ready just to do flicks? You but you, but you got too. That's what I'm saying. You got too much paper. <laughs> no, you too much paper, right? And you, and you got to do that type of shit. Got to do that. That's weird, nigga. Nah, that's weird. But I don't yeah. put it past them because you all these people, man, especially pink people, they got weird fetishes. Like I knew when I started. That's why, you know what I'm saying. When I started looking back then, like this real stuff. You know what I'm saying. When you used to watch. Porn and be on tapes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was basic shit. You know what I'm saying? But when you got to get the pink people tape, it was like, nigga, it was dominatrix. It was like, shoot, spin the bean. Nigga, yeah. animal sex. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn me. Like, I'm talking about just a stream yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, feces and pee pee. And you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, like that shit, uh, two like, girls in a cup. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, so it's like. Nasty shit. It, it, I, I, I don't know from our generation, you know, uh, been privy to a lot, but now yeah. it's just like the doors is wide open, man. It just Everybody's coming out, you know, with a different mind frame. You know what I'm saying? It's not the, it's not the same goals. It's not yeah. the same ambitions. It's not the, you know, it, it's what they say, look, uh, what they say, look, ending in the cupboard. <laughs> say, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Shoot. That's crazy, bro. Nah, it is crazy, man. But you know, I don't know, man. But the, but this finna be a domino effect. It's weird, man. This finna be a domino effect. You know what I'm saying? Because all this finna do is finna just, like if you if you've been noticing year by year, they've just been taking down everybody, or everybody just been passing away. Like it's the, it's an agenda. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what type of agenda it is, but. Even within themselves, people can make their own agenda. They don't have to be no government experience, uh, you know, 
conspiracy yeah. agenda. You know what I'm saying? People have, when they have a motive, they have that agenda amongst themselves. You know what I'm saying? So, but. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out uh, R.I.P. <laughs> Frank LeBerry, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, we supposed to be wearing white or some one day, right? Yeah, we supposed to be wearing white. Uh, um, Ron Isley just did a tribute, contribute to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That movie. Like, huh? Huh? You made me nervous for a second. I'm so sad. Oh my god. Hey, did did you uh, did you see the the video of them doing the second line with him in New Orleans, where they had like a life size picture of him like in a glass casket? Who? 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 Uh, Frankie Beverly. Nah, -uh, I ain't seen and they, that. And they dancing around with the with the casket like yeah, this. Yeah, but, but it's a picture of him. Well, it's a picture of him. But like, but when you look at it, it seems like it's him. Right. But that's how they do but it. They the second world. line. Everybody in white and shit. Yeah, you know that's how they do yeah. it. They do it big. You know what I'm saying? I know between Louisiana and Texas. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's Frankie Beverly. I know every 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 year. You know what I'm saying? Where you, where they going to the line? You know what I'm saying? South Dallas stay fur. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like. Man, that's crazy. So like, dirty work. What like? So once souls of sin kind of departed or went their ways, or y'all yeah. still souls of sin? Like, what is that? Nah, everybody just you know. Right. But uh, shit. It ended up being me zero and sin, and uh. And my partner Bruno, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Bruno. I ain't seen him in a minute. Two times. Uh, yeah, we were dirty work and shit. We was recording shit and everything. That's when we was uh we come together. Okay, come together with a uh, okay. big said. Big said, okay. Yeah. So what it was like with come together records? What was the difference? Was it was it a uh, how was that transition? Man, it was it was cool because at that time. Uh, that's when you know little little flip and everybody popping. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that's when the, the platinum Fubu and all that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Niggas oh, in the yeah. platinum Fubu and yeah. goddamn uh, shout out Levine's. Yeah, <laughs> motherfucking Pelly Pell, all that goddamn shit. <laughs> Levine's kept you stock with that Fubu boy. <laughs> Man, but <coughs> but yeah, that, that shit was cool. Like. I don't know, man. Like said, he made different type of moves. Like you know what I'm saying. Like right. it's like he was making the right moves and shit. You know what I'm saying. So this to, was the to me anyway. Right. You this know was the moves saying? when y'all was getting more features and doing more shows. I mean, it, it not even just, it's just like how he handled his business. You know what I'm saying. Like you know what I'm saying. It, it was some it was some real nigga shit. You know right. what I'm saying. Right. But yeah, you know. Right, so life, so, life experience. Right, you know life saying? experience. Right, as as my bro though, you know what I'm saying. Right, so yeah. what was it like? Some of the stories coming up, you know what I'm saying, with this new record label, you know what I'm saying. That's a new experience for you, man. Like, like who going going to some of the shows uh, was straight, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but shit, we were still recording. Right, you know what I'm saying. So, were y'all opening up for people? Then who y'all opening up for? Shit, I can't even remember goddamn. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man, we just, I tell you what, my nigga. All right. I put it like this. You know, uh, you know how, like, you got, you know, people be cool. Mm -hmm. We're going we gonna to exclude said, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> but everybody know everybody from his camp and then on our end in music. Right. So, in the midst of, you know, us trying to record, ooh, this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? It's like, at time when people intermingle and shit, mm -hmm. and the energy be fucked up, right. and shit happens, mm -hmm. it kind of kind of put a halt to some shit. Right. But it, it's always going to be, you know what I'm saying, the, the ones that was actually there at first, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Right. The niggas that came on the back end, we got to kill that shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? Right. And that's no disrespect to nobody. It's just all truth. You right. know what I'm saying? It just it just wasn't mixing right, right. type shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause me personally ain't got no problem with nobody. You know what I'm saying? So it's like and like sin, zero, you know what I'm saying? 
shit like that, you know, Bruno, we pretty neutral. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got love for everybody, you know what I'm saying? But hell, some was more on this way, some on that way. You mm. know what I'm saying? And it's like shit, you know, we trying to keep shit straight. Cause like, you know, shit be going on, you know what I'm saying? But niggas don't, it's like this here. If you play a fucking game, you know, amongst us, say we in the studio, and nigga, if somebody fall asleep type shit, you know what I'm saying? So if anybody falls asleep in the studio, you know, you do a little certain shit to fuck with them. Right, right. Well, you know, sometimes, you know, it's good to let people know, like, hey, man, you ever, you know what I'm saying? Hell, nigga gonna do this shit here, but when people are knowing, you know what I'm saying, people don't know how to handle that shit, shit goes a certain type of way, and, you know, shit, it get bad. Right, right. You know what I mean? So that's why I say, man, like, when everybody just don't do everybody like that, even if they know each other, yeah. Oh yeah, some niggas get mad. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas, some niggas can't take it. Cause I remember back in the day shit. And, and see, and see the cold you, part about it, 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 was, it was just nah. the shit that happened, the person was in the blind. Yeah. So it, it's just natural shit, but shit. the shit just went the wrong way. Shit, you know what yeah, I'm saying? It went the wrong way, but shit, yeah. I know how it go, cause I knew you fall asleep back us with, um, um, with us still up. Shit, you can get hot sauce in your nose. Yeah. That's how, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We so that's that's how that shit yeah. kind of, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It kind of caused a wedge. Yeah. 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 They might be looking at it like, well, y'all trying to be funny with me. Right, right. right. Like, like that shit, like that shit went real all the way right. off off the, right. you know what I'm saying? But everybody know everybody, you know what I'm right. saying? It was just, folks didn't know how the shit, you know what I'm saying, worked up in there, you know what I'm saying? Just the little jokes and shit. Right. And shit, everybody don't be on that shit like that, no, you know what I'm saying? Fact, Especially fact. if you know, you know what I'm saying, give folks a heads up, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So at least you gave them a head up. Nah, fact, You fact, know what I'm saying? Fact. But shit, when that shit happened, you know what I'm saying, it just, it went all the way bad, bro. Man, that's crazy, man. So, <laughs> so, like. It, it's, it's, a, it's a touch of conversation, man, you know what I'm saying? Cause, right. you know, certain shit that happened, I, I could never, you know, even imagine seeing the type of shit going on. There. Right. So yeah. So that was split up, dirty work too. So or what, or that's like. No, 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 no. That was no, just no. that 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 part. Yeah, that 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 had to. Right. That had to chill out. You know, know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? I said life situations. Right. So, you live, you learn, huh? Yeah. Live, that that shit is all good, nigga. Shit, right. it's it's all still family. I nigga, I ain't I don't have no issue with nobody. Right. Bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Anybody know they got how you met me? How I am? You know what I'm saying? So, <coughs> so <coughs> how y'all end up? You know what I'm saying? Meeting Fifth Ward boys. Uh, messing with Clarence Boyd, uh, Cold Red Records. I forgot it, it was some. I don't know if they had a a, a CD side or something, whatever it was, because CB always, goddamn, he want to be there where it's popping, you know what I'm saying? Right. So whatever he had to do to get us close to somebody, he had to pay or whatever shit, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. And shit. That's why I say I like the nigga E-Rock, man, because right. that nigga just, I don't know. He just he just had like the, the big brother type spirit, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. And shit, it wasn't no deep conversation on here. He was just cool, you know what I'm saying, cordial. Right. And then, like, shit. And I think, like, was that up here? Was that in H Town when that happened? And then when we uh, getting ready to do the show down there in East Texas, I'm trying to think who would kill go or what it was. And uh, we supposed to been doing that sound check shit and all that thing. That shit went another way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, right, right. Nobody coming on time. Playing, uh, you know. Yeah, the CEO, you right. know what I'm saying? Time, shit. Chilling with another artist. Shit, so. That right. went another type right. of way. You know who what I'm saying? Who was I on Cold Red? Let me see. I know. Zero. So Sin. Uh, jazz Melody. Um, what's my boy's name? 
Oh man, I'm having a fucking brain for it, bro. That's some bad trivia. I can't I can't wrap my head around it. Oh, not the bad trivia. I can I can I can see his face and everything, man. Oh my god. He, he see you right now like nigga, you know who I am. <laughs> yes, bro. Oh man. Man. Man, we're gonna spin the block, bro. Oh uh, shit. Oh, what's my nigga name, bro? I can't think of this nigga. I'm talking I'm looking at this nigga, bro. I mean, he's looking right at him, man. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> oh. Ooh, hey, boy. That's sad. Hey, we, we lit, bitch. <laughs> yeah, we lit today. Wait, but nigga, this shit, I see you put the blunt out over here, too. I see the blunt over here just yeah, sitting. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, <laughs> that's okay, because it's. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, halftime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Halftime, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Speak, yeah. Man, since you got a brain fart, speaking of motherfucking halftime, what you think about them Cowboys, man? That Cowboy game, man. What? The Cowboy game is insane. You when, they, the, when they let them have parade on us? Man, same. These boys, same. That was Bro, terrible. that made our city look soft. Man. Because if, if that had been somewhere else, man, them folks would have clowned our ass. I'm serious. And, and, huh? Man, they man, Saints had down there forty points before halftime. I'm just being real. In football. Dallas, man, I'm talking about that was like Super Bowl number. Back right? up there, just throwing nothing but interception. You know what I'm saying? He ain't had that many. I mean, I mean, they were just, I mean, they were just turning over the ball. It was just like, like my nigga, something that lose a game. And you see him on a video doing like this and shit with some hoes. <laughs> I'm like, look at this nigga. He just partying off a nigga money like a bitch. He like, fuck it. I'm just going to throw that bitch. Man, that's mad. That's I hope y'all catch that motherfucker. Here you go. That's crazy, man. CD, go get that bitch. I'm going to throw it that way. I mean, that's how you doing, bro. Man, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? That dude tripping, man. I like Parsons, though. Parsons be on them nigga ass. What the who? Parsons. Parsons, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. well, we got Ezekiel back. Like, I mean... It's like, I don't know what Dallas doing right now, but I'll tell you like this. I know <laughs> I know Jerry Jones, he done figured it out. Boy, that's fucked up. Jerry Jones done figured it out. I'm saying it right oh, now. Oh, shit. Mm. Jerry Jones done figured it out. He made, He's the only football owner, franchise owner, that makes more money losing <laughs> than This winning, is crazy. Than winning. Facts. That's fucked up. He made more money losing than winning. So he losing the win. He losing the win. That nigga pimping the whole system. Man, that say, man, say, look here, man. <laughs> say, look here, man. Say, Pimp Ken. Say, man. Say, man. Hey, hey, say, man. Say, man. Hey, man. He Pimp Ken. <laughs> he, fi he figured out the plan. He figured it out, man. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> he ride low pimping the game. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Man, so. They just be throwing away money, man. I, shoot, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because they, cause, you know how much they making? You know what I'm saying? About five times that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then you talking about, man, this, I heard this Texas money. You know what I'm saying? You remember the show Dallas? Yeah. You know, you you remember JR? JR Ewing. Yeah. J yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shit. You remember JR? You Who know shot JR? Who shot JR? You know what I'm saying? Like a bitch. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> nah, for real, man. So, like, what's what's like what's new, man? Like, so like, because like it's your time. I'm like, what 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 was shit? A, a change to get you to where you at today? I don't know, man. It was just it's in my spirit to do it, man. It's in your spirit. Yeah, man. Like, okay, like so. What are some lessons, you know what I'm saying, that you the learn along this journey, like like from doing all this music? Like what were some lessons that done set with you, you know what I'm saying, that you live by? Shit. Have a lawyer. <laughs> Thank you. Let Swear to God, have a lawyer. Well, Beyonce, say my mom, you know what I'm saying? Say, <laughs> I heard some shit, well, they said Rich Homie Quan did, bro, when they uh was going to give his, I guess his uh, 
his advance or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like he told him, no, he was like, just give me so much every month just to carry me. Don't give it all to me once like that. Just break it down right. every month to keep up with how I live. Right. You know what I'm saying? Tight. I'm, I'm, they like, yeah, that's smart. Yeah, that, right. You know what I'm saying? They got to understand, may he rest in peace. Yeah. They gotta rest in peace, Kwon. Yeah, man. Let's settle. They I'm gotta the man when I walk through. It's alone. It's, it's an when I walk through. It's just alone. Yeah, yeah when I walk take, through. When I walk through. through. Yeah, when I walk through. Yeah, yeah man. you know what I'm saying. It's like, man, man. But no, for real. Get a lawyer, my nigga. You know what I'm saying, and just uh, uh, shit. Know who you fucking with. Right. Like for real. Like, like it don't even have to be people you got history with. It's just like good business, good business. Right. Period, man. You know what I'm saying, and shit. Just. Conduct yourself right. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You can be wild and everything, but just know how to cut that shit on and off. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of time when you when you when you doing music and all that thing, you still an entertainer, you know what I'm saying? Right. So you gotta learn how to cut that shit on and off. You right. know what I mean? Right, you gotta yeah. separate that shit. Yeah, cause you when you say nigga, I'm a businessman, handling business, man, cause I'm a business man. See? <laughs> oh, Okay. <laughs> nah, for real, that shit real, man. Cause life lessons, man. When you when you look back, we were always the ones that when we were rapping or were doing whatever we were doing, and we look at the older older folks, we're like, man, we ain't been like you, man. You, I ain't gonna be that woulda, shoulda, coulda. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, man. Like, and then when you get there, it's like shit. You know, reality sink in. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. When you look back, you know what I'm saying? You was the youngin', and that dude was the oldest. You know. And you think he's gonna help you, and you think he's gonna guide you and sit you in the right direction, and the whole time he's pimping you too. You know what I'm saying? But so like it's like it's a, it's a double edged sword. You know what I'm saying? You damned if you do, you damned if you don't. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like cause some OGs can give you game. You know what I'm saying? Some OGs can give you game and fuck you at the same time. You know what I'm saying? No diddy. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> allegedly. That ain't so allegedly. <laughs> You heard Damn. Loud to say that. That's crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not saying that again no more. I'm not gonna say no diddy on myself no more, but it's just like it's crazy, man. Two thousand bottles of baby oil. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, dude, all the stuff that you know what I'm saying, and then like and then it's like when we're not gonna get on that no more. Cause that, that, <laughs> that, 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 that like, bro, that fool, that was 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 that they gave him no buns, Bro, so I knew it was that's, serious. That's just, that's weird. And then he bribed the judge, 50 million, 75 million, and let him go. And they gave him bribery charges. God damn. Man, you should have told the judge to sign a non disclosure. No, I was just. <laughs> Ooh, we. <wee. laughs> that's for God, God damn, because they exposed all that, man. That's it. That's, that's yeah. it. You know what I'm saying, and then then you, they still investigating him on the, on the allegedly on the Tupac stuff and the Biggie stuff. You know what I'm saying? Cause these boys was murdered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh shoot, damn! Did I say that at the wrong time? Thank you for the belief. <laughs> it might be letting me know. Nah, that was the phone. But um, like who do, on your journey though? <laughs> Who do you met that you didn't think you would never meet? Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think, man. I I put it like this here. We seen them ghetto twins at UTB one night. And they performed down there. That, that shit tripped me out, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Because I was like, damn, they, you know what I'm young there? I'm right. like, damn, they look good in real life type shit. <laughs> that's, right. that's the ones I can really remember. Because like I said, man, like, shit, I was, I was working the shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? And shit, bro and them, they were doing the engineering shit, putting that, you know, Hooking up shit and everything at the studio and shit, we were right. coming together. So shit, I did I did miss out on, you know, 
people. You right. know what I'm saying? So shit, I ain't tripping though. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that shit, that shit cool though, cause hey, at least they get to experience it vicariously through them, you know what I'm saying? Right. Type shit. So yeah. You know. So like Ghetto Twins, what what year was this when Ghetto Twins was? Was this uh, one that had responsibility out? I think that was that, that song, man. What is, it was, was it responsibility? I think it was responsibility at that time, wasn't it? Yeah, because they had that video. Uh, this was before No Limit, right? Or this was after No Limit? I think that was before No Limit. This was before No Limit, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, they, they were hot. Yeah, and they were. I forgot who they were. With. Big boy. What, what, wasn't they fucking with somebody in H Town or some shit? Or? I think so. I can't remember. I'm trying to think. I forget man. who. I think I know. I thought they was with Big Boy, but they probably wasn't. They probably was with somebody. Oh, else. Big Boy Records. Yeah. Was that what they was called? Uh, was that from Louisiana? Yeah, they from Louisiana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I remember that goddamn compilation too. I oh, mean, everybody came from through that big boy. You know, even Disco came through big boy. Yeah, yeah, Disco came through. I, that. Cause I had one of them compilations. I think they nice. like make the, the compilation mm -hmm. mixtapes or some shit. Right, uh, yeah, something like that. Did you say? I mean, speaking of grow, um, if y'all so close to East Dallas, the relationship you and y'all got with East Dallas. Now, do you remember anybody coming up from East Dallas that was rapping like? You remember what the dude back in the day called Big Lurch? Yeah. You remember Big Lurch? Uh, he was with, uh, he locked up, right? He locked up. Yeah, that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? If I, I led you for Wait, the, no, 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 I, I ain't gonna, I, let me, let me fix that shit. <laughs> let me fix that shit. He ain't, he ain't my homie, bro. Like, uh, who was, it's, it's somebody we know, man. And, uh, they cool with that. Oh my God. Cause the nigga went to jail for some crazy shit. You he know went to jail saying? for cannibalism. Yeah, he you know was somebody out there whacking shit. You somebody, know what I'm but see, the, the story is on Big Lurch is that he was messing around with Mike Mosley and them. Okay. And he was out there in the Bay Area at this time. You know what I'm saying? He that was that Sherm Sherm. But so you know, because you know he was rapping with Mystical. He had tracks with Mystical. He had tracks with uh, you know, uh, what was that, Mac Dre, and all that stuff like that. Nah, yeah. but he was in a group though. Yeah, he was in a group too. Oh. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Cosmic Slop. Yeah. Cosmic Slop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, all that like that. And what ended up happening was they I took a, the the. Too. You know how it is, like how you know, you know, as Texas boys, we fly. You know what I'm saying? You know how you know, seeing had the finger waves of his spruce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you, boy, this nigga here. <laughs> so hey, you know, so you know, you know, Texas boys fly. So you know, they was kind of like, you know, some niggas, you know, hating on them. You know, especially you in California, you know, niggas gonna hit the whoop, the whoop, the whoop. Yeah. And what the whoop, the whoop is, is like. I guess one of the boys had a problem with his girlfriend. You see what I'm saying? And she was finna relieve him. You know what I'm saying? And Damn. Big Lurch was, you know, cool, you know, cool with them. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? But you know how, you know, some some people sometimes choose up, do whatever they do. And then, you know, when you get in the right frame of mind, when you messing with this music shit, you trying to go on about your business and do what you got to do to make sure that you're secure, right? Yeah. So I guess, you know, allegedly that these boys, you know what I'm saying, started hating on, you know what I'm saying, Mike Mosley and all them. They took him out. So when they had took him out to the club or whatnot or wherever the spot they went to, you know what I'm saying, they had already, I guess, allegedly off the old girl. Oh, shit. Chopped her up, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff like that. Did the, you know? Did the works with her, you know what I'm saying? You know, in the in the crib and stuff like that, and um, with the dog in there and everything. And then they talking about filled her up with PCP. They like 
put it down her whole, you know, her throat, make her drink all of it. You know what I'm saying? Oh fuck! And then they did lurch the same way. They took her to to the club and they laced him. Yeah. They laced him. You know what I'm saying? And then I don't know when he got to the house. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. And then, um, this one they took him from the club and they put him up in that house. You know what I'm saying? I guess they stripped him or whatever or whatnot. But um, he was out of there. Next thing you know, I guess somebody had seen him. I guess he had came too at one point in time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know in between this time. You know, I don't know what these boys done did in there. But somehow, you know, it was it was some about the dog was chewing on nine, nine on 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 her. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I and I and I guess he had some flesh, you know what I'm saying, on him too, right? So they were saying that, you know, he ate her, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, cannibalism, but that wasn't the case. You know what I'm saying? But I guess he came too and guess seen what he seen, ran outside, you know, he was already stripped. He ran outside room, they locked him up. Now, what's crazy about Big Lurch is, you know what I'm saying, free that boy Lurch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Boy Lurch, man. That the mama came to court to testify and tell the truth that there was this old boy girlfriend and that she was finna leave that morning. And they ain't even, you know what I'm saying? She knew that Lurch ain't had nothing to do with this. He been fighting that, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Big Lurch. You yeah, know what I'm man, that's crazy. Nah, for real. But it's crazy that you remember Big Lurch. Yeah, he had that. Yeah, he had that deep ass voice. Yeah, 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 you yeah. rain. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That. That was the Cosmic Slop Shop, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. You, you rang, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That, that boy, yeah, already. Yeah. Uh -huh. Damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He still represented him, man. I done talked to him a couple of times. I used to keep the That's line crazy. through the wire. I used to keep the line through the wire. I, I got ain't some heard tracks. that name in a long time. I got some tracks I recorded while he was locked up and stuff like that. So I try to keep up, you know what I'm saying? So Damn. It's crazy. So like man, like what's the next what's the, what's the next step in your life, man? What's 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 the next step? You know what I'm saying? Because I see you doing music, you ready to come back, man. For before you tell me the next step, champ. And you changing your name? What the champ? First of all, how did you even how did you even get champ? Where's my phone? Man, she they used to call me Champagne. Champagne. So okay, so it, it went it went from uh. OG, and then to Champagne, and then it went to Champ. Oh, okay, Champ. So yeah. like, so cause like Champ, like contender nah. Champ. No, nah, so I, I got I got uh, one of my white brothers name uh, Jeremy. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> he was fucking with a nigga one night, and uh, we were drinking some champagne and shit. Right. But every time, goddamn, some shit jump off. You know what I'm saying? Back then, we was around the shit. Right. So, like, popping, popping up the bottle of shit. And so he was fucking with me. How I was drinking the goddamn shit, because I'm guzzling the motherfucking shit. Right. And he started calling me the shit, and the shit kind of stuck. So, champ stuck. No, champagne stuck. Champagne stuck, stuck. okay. Yeah. And so, when I, so when I got old, a little bit, a little bit older. Oh, a little bit older. You cut the, you just. Yeah, chopped it. champ, man. Champ. Cause I started hearing other niggas name Champagne. I'm just like, nah, bro. I don't, I don't even want to be caught up in that. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of dancers out here in Dallas. Same, champagne. bro. <laughs> I, I, found, I found out a lot of shit. So yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah I start with nigga. Oh, you be like, damn. So, oh, that's what them all, so I, all the niggas over there. Yeah, stay with the champ, man. Well, damn, you fucked up my shit. Then I can't even do my shit. Then, nigga, I thought, nigga, I... the champ is here. Shit, goddamn me. Hey, shit. man. Sorry, man. <laughs> But that, yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> For real, man. That shit man, crazy. What the fuck, man? You just fuck so champagne into a champ. Okay, I, yeah, man. I can deal with that. You know what I'm saying? But now, and then, but then, you know, I, I I did it long enough, you know, with with that album and shit. But after that, like, I just went champ, bro, cause I'm like, then I was tired of that shit. Cause right. it, you know, shit you saying like mm. that, third shit. I'm like, no, man. I don't even want to be socialized with that shit. Right. Man, so where the track at with Sibo, man? What y'all, what y'all ever do with that track? Shit, ass sin. Damn. Sin, sin probably having all that shit. He got everything. So probably put so, up something. So y'all mean y'all still got work that ain't even been put out from Souls of Sin? 
I don't, I don't know. Because I know y'all recorded more than one album. Y'all got a lot of songs between, just on that one between, album. Between, uh, I don't know. Probably between I don't know if Ray Ray probably know or Sin or somebody got some some shit saying had a shit. I don't know. Shit so old probably. I don't know. Right, 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 right. I know I ain't got none of that shit. Right, you ain't got none of that. I ain't got right. none of that shit. Man, I done say, bro, before I, you know what I'm saying, settle mm. down, I had moved around so goddamn much, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Losing right. shit. And, right. So, so, yeah. How did y'all hook up with UGP? Oh, man. Uh, a lot of niggas went to school with each other. Right. Uh, they went to Skyline. It and uh, Bunk and all of them. They went to Skyline. Right. Eight ball. We we went to uh, Brian Adams. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, shit. But we were just all cool anyway. You know what I'm saying? A lot. It, like a lot of people stayed on PV. They stayed on PV. The PV and Buckner right there, where the mm. old Seven Eleven used to be at. Right. I stayed down on the other end of PV and Garden Road. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? But hell, I grew up on Fergus and shit back in the day anyway, so. So what was, KD was telling me something about where well, y'all all used to meet up and rap battle or y'all rapped or whatever out there back in the day? Oh, yeah. It's, what was the spot? Well, what was it? Well, with the UGP niggas, you know, they was over there in the pavilion. Or the pavilion. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I, I, I know bro and them used to kick it in the circle and shit all the time over right. there. And shit, we be over there in, uh, in Buckner Village over Grip House posted up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Writing and doing shit. So, yeah. You know, we was all a uh, southern organization right. anyway. So, yeah. All right. And who was all? So, southern organization, what they commenced of then? Mm -hmm. What they consist of? Like, what? That, that sounds um, like a big old. Yeah. That, that, like, that sounds like tying in a lot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of singles, rappers, rap, okay. uh, shit, okay. poets. Okay, a syndication. Okay, yeah, it's just yeah. different talents. You know right. what I'm saying? So, so you and Eddie still Eddie Mac. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. still mess around. I see y'all. I see you. You, you, had, you had sent me some good. Shit. I was check this. From that hot shit that I spit more than a rubber to a check. You're from that hot shit that I spit from Mac 90. Minute one four with extra clip shit. You can have 50 niggas on your team strapped and ready to shoot. Cause the flame from my barrel make them jump and do the fucking truth. In the coop, I'm getting gassed up. Nigga face fuck getting masked up. Nigga that like drama, that's us. Ready to cock that bitch and bust. Nigga can't fuck with us. So what you wanna do? Cause I'm gonna bust these motherfucking shots at you. And you, and especially as you, nigga. Hopping up out of the back of the lap, ready to attack, bust an attack, and leave him on his back flat. Who really wanna go to war with a nigga? Send the trigger, the nigga can fit him and hit him to his head. Yeah, <laughs> Eddie hitting that bitch, ain't he? <laughs> God damn, Eddie, shit. And, 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 and nigga Zero made that beat. Zero made that beat? Yeah. Shout out Zero. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. God damn. We just, we just, we, me and him put our brains together on that when right. he came up with that bitch. Man, how long ago y'all did this right here? Because y'all got DJ Drop. They got DJ uh, Drop. That's, that's, that's Eddie shit, though. That's Eddie, but still, you got DJ Drop. You know what I'm saying? Chopping that boy up. DJ Jock, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to speak on the dates because I don't know definitely. Okay, okay. But, but it's been a while ago. It's been a while ago. Okay, cool. I was just going through some shit. And right, I was right. just, you know what right. I'm saying? Shit. So, is your rap style still the same, like, far as back then to now? Man. Like, what, what you think has changed or what you think you would have improved? Shit. Yeah, I'm hitting you with the questions. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I just, you know, I just, I just want to. Uh... Did you sip some of that rock star, too? What well, that? Yeah, did you get some of that yeah, rock Yeah, I, I got a little taste of that shit. Oh, ain't fake, man. Ain't well, let me see that rock salt. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's rock salt. It's wait, right oh, there. Wait, oh, okay, man. Shout out. Yeah, you go ahead, bro. Yeah, shout out rock yeah. salt. You yeah, that's say, say, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Dallas finest, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get you some. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I ain't did that in a while. Shout once again. Yeah, you ain't gonna bust that bottle down like that. that, joke, that Urban Bud in the building. You know what I'm saying? My sponsor, you know what I'm saying? Soul Lounge is going down. So, down. what's the difference, man? Like, what you think you done improved and everything like that? Man, I just I just want to have my mind right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because it's like, you can just get caught up mm -hmm. in how everything is. Right. And so, like, when you get to a certain point in your life, it's like, you're trying to see where you fit in at. Mm -hmm. Even though, you, you know what I'm saying, you still got a gift. Right. You're trying to see where you fit in at, you right. know what I'm saying? And that's, that's really where I'm at with it, you know what right. I'm saying? So let's get to let's get to the bulk of the interview, you know what I'm saying? Like 
what do you think there was any type of misconception with souls of sin do you feel like because when, when we was on the other interview you know what i'm saying it was like you didn't get paid for it, you know what you was doing and everything yeah like man that. so like do you feel like you know for in your new journey and from your old journey is there any misconception and then on your way on your new journey what are you doing to detour that, you know what I'm saying? And make it to where you can control and you know what's going on. Man, I'm just just trying to trying to do me. I ain't like I already know, you know what I'm saying? Uh the hurdles and everything. I'm just trying to do some good music, man. You know right. what I'm saying? Like because I just, I got a lot of, you know what I'm saying, ideas and shit, you know what I'm saying? I just be wanting to really build tracks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I can I can rap on folks' tracks and shit, but it's like ways I can hear it in my head. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you what I'm hearing, you know what I'm saying? I can tell you how to play it. I can't do it, but I can tell you how to play it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it, I promise you, it, it'll come out the same way. You know what I'm saying? I just be... One folks to have patience, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Cause hey, I'm, you know, when you get to a certain point, you don't want to just put out no bullshit. If you're trying to revamp yourself, rebrand yourself, whatever, right. you know, you're trying to put out some kind of good body of work, you know what right. I'm saying, to show yourself relevant. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And, and you know what I'm saying? I don't want to just fall into the pool of what everything else is going on. You right. know what I'm saying? But it'll, it'll still hold weight to right. flow with whatever you know is going on too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So do you feel like you have to change, you know, what you did back then now to even fit in what was going on with today's music? No, not really. Not really. Right? It, it, it's the same. It's just right. It's just a new style. Right. It, it, it still worked the same and everything. Right. It's just the only new shit that been holding is the social media. Right. But everything else still the same. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, Sick to Shocker just dropped one this morning. Really? Yeah, Sick to Shocker. <laughs> yeah, Sick to Shocker still Damn, doing music. Damn, Mister. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People, like, people Except need... what I'm saying, right. man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I come from some, uh, yeah. You said Sick to Shocker? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, it, and it's That's jamming That's crazy, too. man. And it's jamming too. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like people still going, man. It's like it's always a it's always a lane. They always performing their hits. Yeah. And then they always giving you something new. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, man. I call that a twenty yard blitz. You know? <laughs> man. Music so timely when you got Diana Ross and right. uh, what's the word? D Madonna and all them still like. Yo, 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 crowd grow with yeah, you. Music, man, man. You, you know, you know, you know, you know Jeezy be having that music, man. Who? Jeezy. Jeezy? Yeah. yeah, from Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, you know how he be having them goddamn, them tracks that be. Yeah. They just, yeah, man, I like, what? I love that. See, that? that's yeah. that shit, my nigga. Right. Because, bro, it's like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's like, it's, it's like a sound, bro. And it's like. Right. You everybody got, just keep touching on it. Right, it's the anthem. Everybody keep touching the same goddamn sound, bro, some kind of way, bro. It'll right. just be like, like, man. Right, so you think today's producers not expanding their minds anymore? What, we, we stuck on what? Just... No, nah, I mean, like, oh, you know, okay. but like, that... like everybody got their own, you know what I'm saying, style okay. and craft, you know right. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You got, you got some people that, that's trying to appeal different cultures and everything. Right. So it's like we you know, you can really omit them kind of folks, you right. know, if they make, you know, reggaeton, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, saying rap or Argentinian or whatever it is, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. If they doing a multiplicity of goddamn kinda you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you ain't really got but it's like if you specify yourself in certain areas, right. I mean like like bro, y'all yeah. y'all got y'all gotta stop using that same shit. Right, 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 right. And I don't even make shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I know the shit ain't right. You right, know what right. I'm saying? But you know what you want. You know what I'm saying? I, and what other people really want. Right, and what other you people You know what I'm saying? Because right. it's just like, it's, yeah, hell yeah, y'all can rap to anything, but man, y'all y'all need some variety shit. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Like, 
everybody trying to be like somebody with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I mean, like, bro, it's like, I don't know. Right. You know? I feel you. I feel you. But that's why I try to be, it's, it's like me sometimes. It's, <laughs> it get complicated as a producer because sometimes I want to, you know, I got a style, you know what I'm saying? I got a signature style, but then again, I also know I got to, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like I got to cater to this, cater to that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then plus two, if I'm shopping and I'm de dealing with different artists, it's different, you know what I'm saying? Motions, feelings, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Styles, you know what I'm saying? Stuff yeah. like that. So I have to be able to adapt, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I know exactly where you're coming from. Like, yeah, man. We was talking like off camera before we started, man. We was talking about short dealing, man. Yeah. That's my big homie. That's bro. How do you hook up with Short Dillon, man? Like Short Dillon, that's through, a, that, through that's, a, that's another Dallas pioneer, a Dallas legend. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't yeah. know about, that a lot of people don't talk about. Just like Big Show, you know, he he's another one. But Short Dillon, man, how'd you? So what is it like messing with Short Dillon, man? Did y'all ever do some music together? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Everything was straight, man. Shit, we we getting to the money and everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Dylan had a couple shops and stuff like that. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shit. Life situation. <laughs> Life situation. You know what yeah, I'm saying, bro? And when you know a nigga like that, that's just street shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and, I, and I, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. you know and then my big homie, they know yeah. they, nigga, they. Ever, ever, ever since we made bars. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I don't I don't break no bonds. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Shit. Right. And it just, you know, I got responsibilities. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit. That I've been having for a long time. So I mean, you know, just I'm still y'all brother. Right. Shit. What about Bush with Bill? They ain't never meet Bush with Man, Bush with Bill used to be in the grove tough. I swear to God I never met him. I right. wish I did. Well, say he used to be in the Grove to R.I.P. Bushwick Bill. I read R.I.P. Bushwick, man. He used to be in the Grove to I never met him. My partner, I, swear. I, got, I got in my movie, Death Around the Corner. You know, they used to mess around with Bushwick Bill. They yeah. got a lot of Bushwick Bill. Yeah. That's Shout crazy. Out. Man, his son rapping, too. Shoot, Bushwick Bill son. Hey, he got a son boy tall, huh. too. <laughs> he said who? He tall. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know how sometimes when you think, you know, a midget gonna have a midget, but now, nah, you know, nah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I'm just saying, I ain't, you know. For real, that's true, though. That's true. <laughs> and just like that show them people used to have, where the parents was uh, uh -huh. yeah. midgets and shit. Yeah, the midgets. And the yeah. kids was, yeah. hell yeah, they were big. We got a lot of famous midgets in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? We got it, man. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, they got, they got, they on TV shows. There were them girls from Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the twins. Yeah, the twins. Man, yeah. my, my niece graduated with them. For real? From West Mesquite. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. How you, you can't be having any brain Cause they they them, uh man. they was on them shows and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up. I forgot about that shit. Man, shoot. So, so when y'all was in the Grove, y'all ever listened to some of the, uh, to some, what Oak Cliff music y'all was turned on to? You know what I'm saying? What Oak Cliff music y'all was jamming? Yeah. <clears throat> Back then. Mm. Do you remember, like, what other, yeah, we were just talking about Bobo Luciano and all that. Oh, C. Strug, my nigga. Oh, R.I.P. C. Strug, man. R.I.P. C. Strug, man. Yeah, you know what man. I'm my nigga, say, my nigga used to jam like a hoe. Well, that's say, like, man. Uh, hey. What's, what's my nigga's song? Oh. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, C. Strug, man. That's say, like, man. That's and, Oh, I can't think of this song. Yeah. Because that bitch used to be so hard in my shit. Oh. It's the one where that nigga sitting and they got no, no, it's not that one where he sit. He sitting in that one car. It's another song. Oh man, see, that's, I'm quit that shit with y'all. Man, you know, nah, man, this lip podcast, man. You can't be. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, Look, man, say, nigga, we, I, I, I'm put like this here, man. That nigga see straw the truth, bro. Damn right, man. He, oh he, man, he, that nigga, he that, more, that nigga's jam, bro. Man, he more than the truth. You know what I'm saying, like. Uh, the song him and Gator. I like guy. the nigga Tom Tom. Tom Tom. Tom I mean, Tom, Tom, like, Tom I always jamming man, though. Tom Tom I always jamming. Yeah. Like you yeah, know, yeah. like I don't know. I'm glad. I'm glad back in the day he made it to MTV. All that you know what I'm saying. Shout out I'm, to the homie Fat B. Fat B. Fat bastard. He from the Grove. He represented. Yeah, he yeah, put yeah. it on. 
He put it on nice, you know what I'm saying? Fat B always, you know what I'm saying, was a yeah, stand-up guy. That's a cool-ass nigga. Yeah, he'll show up and pull up with you, like, you know what I'm saying? He was all the way down to earth, you know, um, and Lil' Ronnie. Six, uh, what, 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 Lil' Ronnie, five, what, what is it, five, three, Lil' Ronnie? You know what I'm saying? Ain't me and Paul. But he was part of DSR. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I listen to all of them. Shit. Yeah, yo, 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 them niggas, them niggas, you ain't never jammed on Oak Cliff Assassin? Man, a little bit. Oh, you ain't never But you, you know what? What? Oh, uh, okay, so when we came out with that, uh -huh. Oak Cliff Assassin had came out with his album. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, for whatever reason, man, it was like the CEO of the label we was on, man, his nigga was trying to like make some old fake ass, like, try to make us think the nigga was, like, hating on us or some shit. Oh, uh, um... You know what I'm saying? And, no, and nobody ain't playing to that shit. You talking about, uh, Oakland for Sassy? Yeah. Yeah, he was around with, uh, uh Lockdown inmates. Yeah. Like K9 and, and, and nigga, them. like, nigga... And hell, we, I think we'd have ran two niggas in the North back in the day, and they were cool. It wasn't even... Right. I, I can't remember what the fuck it was. Like, we ran to these niggas, bro, like... Like, bro, we, we were fucking with these niggas in the city, bro. You know what I'm saying? And shit, man. You know, it's you, like, like, nigga, yeah. we fucked around and got banned off the radio, nigga, and we got blackballed. Motherfucker didn't want to fuck with us. That was, that was another part of the shit, too. Who banned y'all off the radio? Man. R.I.P. Oak Cliff Assassin, too. R.I.P. Oak Cliff Assassin, man. Uh, I, man, I know what was it back then? Uh, 100.3 Jams? Uh huh. K105, yeah, man, they banned our shit. What the nigga Soul C wasn't getting no play. You know what I'm saying? It was, it, that shit was crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? So. What was it, the attitude? What it was the management that was doing that? Or was it was it the name, Soul C? What was it? Yeah, it was just, yeah, some shit had what happened. What you think one played time. a part? It was just some shit that happened one time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And shit. You know, cause, cause bro was touching on it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, it wasn't really nothing to talk about no way, but that's that's what it was, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, because, yeah, you know, like I say, niggas was young, you right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. So, so along your journey through this music, who have you met that done gave you some advice that done stuck with you? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I done, I done heard a lot of shit, man. I don't know. It's just like I just make it, make it my own. You know what I mean? Right. But um. Oh, no, you know, I just ain't never really just met nobody just give a nigga just some, you know what I'm saying, coming up like that, just some pure game, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. It was like motherfuckers was trying to show you more wrong than anything, you know what I mean? Right, right. And so, you know what I'm saying? I, I just put it like that, you know. Uh, but did you have anybody? Verbally say you know, something. To you. Well, personally or, or entertainment wise or just whatever, whatever. whatever. You know what I'm saying? Through your journey, you know what I'm saying? Even, man, even I'm give a, me I'm that support I'm, through music. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something, man. It, it was a guy named uh Kenneth Barnes when I was when I was a kid, man. Right. And he he, he was real patient with me, you know what right. I'm saying? I respect him for that, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, it's just like it, it taught me something, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, like, you feel like people, you know what I'm saying, don't have your back, or you right. feel like, you know what I'm saying, you just, you really just be in a space, you really just be fooling yourself, you know what I'm saying, and I guess, you know what I'm saying, it's always something that'll kick in and make you goddamn say, you know, it ain't like that, right. you tripping, you know what I'm saying, you tripping on the people that care about you and shit, you know what I'm saying, it just... It just really just had you in the space, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like you tend to like just 
be like fucking with everything, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody that I that I did, you know what I'm saying, music and shit, you know what I'm saying, I really depended on these folks. You know what, right. what I'm saying? Right. They don't they don't really know, you know what I'm saying, and I really just, you know what I'm saying, was dedicated and everything, you know what I'm saying? And uh shit. I re I really just, you know what I'm saying, really just took myself out the shit, you know what I'm right. saying? Because it it just seemed like, you know what I'm saying, it just, you know, uh I don't know, man. Like I got in the space, man, where it's like I couldn't even, you know what I'm saying, just get to my shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then when I did, you know what I'm saying, get on people's tracks and shit, nigga, I was fumbling like a bitch. No, you know no, what I'm saying? Right. Niggas taking me off of songs and everything. You know, at one point in time, you know, I get I got upset, but then I had to look at it like, you ain't put your all into that. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? You did something just trying to appease somebody. You know what I'm right. saying? You didn't, you didn't really put your, you know what I'm saying, your all into it. Right. You really just had cheated both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you can't get mad if nigga take a verse off. Right. It's business. Yeah, hey, yeah, shit. That's gonna, make, that's gonna make you sharpen yourself up. You yeah, make you get back bro. in there. Yeah, bro. And get at it, you know. And that's why I said, man, like, you know, I ain't trying to do a whole bunch of songs or nothing. I'm cool with the EP. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hell, sometimes you say less. You right. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. I just, I just want to do some shit to see if I still got it. You know what I'm right. saying? Take another shot at it, you know what I'm saying? However it go, I'm cool with it. Well, let's shit, let's take another shot at it, man. Shit, let's go and let's take another shot at it, man. Let's see, let's see, let's see what you can bring out the boat, boat. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been telling people, collabing. When you're in the studio, it's more than just you writing your verse, writing the hook, and then laying that shit. It's a process. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to process by lyrical. Make y'all can show y'all go to look. You too. Right through my head. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, but, say, hold on here, man. My throat so goddamn dry. Man, shit, man. You feel man, like I got shit. a sand jacket man, on cool. in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you know that's how it go, you know. <laughs> shit. But, man, we gonna, we, we can do this, you know what I'm saying, and, and just, just work, bend, you know, try new shit. Yeah. New, you know what I'm saying? See what we come up with, man, shit. You know, saying motherfucker, you can hate it or love it. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's just it's just that time. Like man, like I'm finna ask it to you. I'm finna ask you this hard hit a question right here. Who you think besides C. Shrug? Oh shit! <laughs> Had one of the hardest albums or songs come up out of Dallas. At what period of time? All periods. Even up to now. Yeah. Who got the hardest shit? The, not, not, ever? Damn, you want to go ever? Nah, I'm, uh, uh, not how you ask I me. <laughs> okay, yeah. ever. No, then. no, 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 no. How, how you just ask me? Well, I'm just saying who, who, like, who got that? He said the hardest album or song. Mm -hmm. from, became, from what time? Out of all times in Dallas, besides C Shrug, because I know you're going to say C Shrugs. <laughs> Because he sure as I know we're going to give him hold that. On, hold we're going to give hold him on. that. See, see, see. We're going to put Damn, him on. You messing it up. You messing it up. Nah, I ain't messing it up. You messing it up. Uh, you passed the blunt back. You know what I'm saying? Some of this finest of the, you know, some of that fire or not. God damn. Uh, I'm being real slow right now, man. Oh man, yeah. and you ain't being slow, you know what I'm saying? You right on time. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up, man. <laughs> Wrong answer. I know, I know, I know. No, man. Uh, <laughs> and my nigga, no. Oh, man. <laughs> and my nigga, he, he gets all the shits. You know what I'm saying? He gets all the shit. We we with all the shits tonight. I take that shit, man. <laughs> I take that shit, man. That's fucked, up. <laughs> that nigga uh, saying, I don't want to hear C-Strip. Uh, nigga, man. Uh, <laughs> damn. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fucked that one up. Oh. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. <laughs> think of it, think 
Who would you put second to see Strugs? Who would you put second to Street Strugs? Oh, yeah. Who would you put second to see Strugs? Can I take a shot? <laughs> yeah, you can take a shot. Here you go. Shout, shout out to Rockstar. Cause, you know cause, cause, cause look, cause look, cause look, cause look, cause look. Really, really coming out of this city, really out of this city. Uh huh. Sea Struggle and this nigga shirt is the top spot though, for real. They, okay. So say, man, for real. But I, I, I'm not going to do it. What? Who is it? Oh, man. Man. Dude, who is going to rock star? Shout out rock star. I, I want to know who this is now. He got me thinking like. <laughs> I, like you know what I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't, who, I don't know who he going to say. I don't know. He might say Gator Man. Who going to say? Who we going to say? You know what I'm saying? Like, who we going to say? You know what I'm saying? Like, say? You know, but it could be Mo3. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, or, or like, you know what I'm saying? Who, yeah. who, who else? You know what I'm saying? Well, it can be Lucci. <laughs> <laughs> it can be Pookie. It can be K Rock. Oh! <laughs> mm. Ooh, we got, well, say, man, we got, I would say, we got some hard hitters, man. Shoot. Goddamn, it can be. Shoot. Man, you know what? Hmm? I'm, I'm going to be 100, though, man. That nigga, that nigga three. Nigga three. And say, I'm going to tell you something, man. I'm, I'm, I'm like, when he first came out, like I listened to him a little bit, but then my kids started listening to him. Right. So I started hearing it all the time. Right. I'm like, God damn. So you know what I'm saying? Shit, I'll kind of upgrade my shit. So I'm able to form me some, some bang and shit now. Yeah, so I, yeah, yeah. I started listening. I said, God damn. Whoa. I'm jam mo three like a bitch. Jam like a bitch. Next thing you know, nigga, just, hell, my wife and them singing his goddamn songs right. and shit. I'm like, God damn. I think just drop a shit, drop a shit. I mean, like the shit was jamming, bro. Like right. the nigga real creative, bro. All right. I'm, I'm say, man, that's nah, that shit, that nah, shit. Nigga, yeah, yeah. But this this how I look at it, bro. <coughs> and you know, this how I feel about it, bro. I just really hate all that shit happening between them guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. Who who whoever crunk it up or however, man. You know, so that's why I like it's men, bro. We gotta start having a mind for ourselves, man, and not let niggas put that key in our back. You know what I'm saying? Cause niggas, niggas be having kids and families and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like nigga, we was coming up, niggas like, nigga, you didn't do no shit like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you had beef with a nigga, whatever. Like, hell, nigga ain't trying to take you from your family. Nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah. But then at one point in time, it started getting like that. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I remember when Dallas was going through, like. But when I was coming up, I was in, I know especially where I was from, you know, Cliff. I man, every, every, since I was yeah, high, I was seeing them with murders. You know what I'm saying? Like, shoot, from shoot from, every from, night. Yeah, from I'm talking from, from Burning Hills to Biscayne, Tropicana, all up and through the Conway, all up around there, you know, like it's been like yeah. like all that. But I know what you mean though, you know what I'm saying? Like for that. Especially a murder like that, you know, on the highway, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but, and, and that and that just remind me, just like the Ken, the Kennedy uh, assassination. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it was right on the highway like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they just how they did that. That's, that shit was crazy, and that's why they still label us the Dallas, the city of hate. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Home of the haters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what that's they used crazy. to say. You know, that's crazy. And I'm know? like, damn, we just we just fucked up like that. But now, nah, but we but right now we changing it. Yeah. Because it, it's enough people getting to the money, they right. gotta be like that. Right, they right. embracing people to come in, right. you know what I'm saying, and do business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And lose, you know what I'm saying? See, yeah. and all them. Yeah. Like, Sorry, man, I'm telling yeah. you, bro. You know, seven hundred uh or seven hundred. Montana. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They all doing their thing and then you, what and then what what I say, you know, like Big show, he coming back out doing more, more stuff. Uh, I mean, it's so much stuff, man. Like I say, even Bunky and all them coming yeah, back, man. like they are everybody doing. You know what I'm saying? What they do. So now, like it's 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 like I say, back to yeah. it, full circle. Here we go. 
Back to you. I think yeah. I, I think when uh when they did the uh the Grove anthem. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? That, right. That's that's what kind of made everybody blood start pumping. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nah, for real. Yeah. So like, who she, you think got the most albums? Who got the most album? In Dallas. Who you think got the most album? Boonky. You think Boonky got the most album? I, man, I don't know, man. I looked at I, I looked at one of little uh one of bro little, uh pages and uh it just showed and I'm like, damn, bro got a I mean, whole bunch of albums. How many albums you I think? I don't know, got? man. Cause Cotton Mouth, Cotton Mouth got a lot. Not only Cotton Mouth, the motherfucker man. Matter of fact, Chief I think I know Chief bro got, got about lot. nine goddamn albums or more. Boom got hey man, say like Boom got a whole okay. bunch of goddamn album, man. Okay, cause Chief got a lot of them too. Yeah. Hey, I think he got eat greedy volume, goddamn me shit. Hell, seventeen around the hell, five something like that. Or the motherfucker that said Chief would drop a whole bunch of them bitches. Yeah, that nigga got a whole bunch of albums. Yeah, he got, too. Yeah, he got a whole bunch of albums. You know what I'm saying? But Boomkey, though, okay, I can give you that. Cause Boomkey do be he'll work a holler. You know what yeah. I'm saying, man? That's like one dude out the grove that was just a workaholic, like. Who you think that was really just like? And Broad work with anybody too. Right. He oh, show. Yeah. He show. Any, oh yeah, he gonna show everybody. Anybody love my yeah, nigga. Yeah. And he know who the OGs is. He know who who to come through with. All that stuff. And he always pick nice beats and everything. He do his thing, man. And him, and Eddie man. Eddie man, shout out Eddie man. I gotta get Eddie man. Shout out to here. Eddie Kane. You know what I'm saying? Eddie Kane. I gotta get him up here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Like uh, I, like I told them, I gotta get that whole group together. Like, did y'all ever mess with the NFL boys? Nah, nah, you ain't never mess with the NFL boy. Uh -oh. What about Damn D? I, th I think, I... oh yeah, man, I, I, I met Damn D before. That nigga, yeah. they're cool. We yeah. had, we had class together. Right. Oh, y'all yeah, went to school? Yeah, we had class. Oh, okay, okay. All right, shout out Damn Damn D. Man. Shout out to my nigga Damn D, man. Yeah, hell yeah. He was part of the NFL boys. Yeah. Yeah. He was cool though. I, I went to school with him. Okay. We had, we had, we had evening class together. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, oh, okay. So break it. So break it down to me. So how how was the Grove divided? Like, cause the NFL boys and then what you got? You know what I'm saying? Like, how break it down to me? You know what I'm saying? Cause like, so, so it was broke down. Yeah, break it down. I ain't never know it broke down. Bro. I thought it was. I thought y'all had sections. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it wasn't like it wasn't like Oak Cliff. Shit, it was like all y'all, all y'all. I had friends everywhere, so okay, all right. Bet, so bet, shit, bet. I ain't know no sections, bro. Right, right. Ain't no right. boundary to me. Right, right. Okay, okay. Yeah. I just I, hey, so. hey, man, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I don't fuck with nobody. I'm cool oh, with everybody. Oh, okay, okay. Shit, I pull up. Nah, Chris, nah that's blood. how I always been. But you SA know, neighborhood, nigga. Right. Hey, if I get out, I'm going to stoke. Yeah. So with y'all, man, in out of stoke. You know what I'm saying? Essays grow deep. Yeah. Especially for like that's why I was asking earlier like how is the Grove and East Dallas relationship because it's almost like y'all just almost the same but it's different because East Man. Dallas got its own thing too because they had the projects back there too what was that um project uh because right there uh, who with who when you come off of Jim Miller you cross over and then you go to the back back there what was the name of them projects back there they done torn down now uh well, and, and and put and put the uh, rose mud on it. I don't know. They probably did put Rosemonts on them. Uh, well, say say it again. What, okay, what you come on. Okay, off of thirty, exit Jim Miller. Thirty. Exit Jim Miller. Make that lift. Go across the bridge, right? Uh huh. And then you go down. and You come back behind that store. Make that right. You go back around. Right. There. It used to be them projects back there. Oh shit! Hold on, hold on. Man, what's the name of them projects? Not turn the court, but uh, um. You talking about in the south? Nah, not in the south. That's why I said it's not turning the court. It's, uh, is it St. Francis? What did in them French St. Francis apartments or something back there? St. Francis apartments still better. They something else though. Now. That's Jim Miller back there. When that, that's uh. When you cross over Jim Miller, and you go to the back over the to the back back there, you used to have them projects like them back there, them hood ass apartments back there. Yeah, what, what been towed down? But they didn't tour them hoes, but I forgot, man, what the name of them hoes is. I got now, behind St. Francis? Now, nah, I got a brain for it. Man, watch. <laughs> and when it comes too much, when we get out the camera, it's going to come to me, and I'll be like, oh, it's yeah. When, 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 I, when I put the interview out, nigga, I'm going to put it all in the comments. Oh, yeah, man. nigga, that's the, You know what I'm saying? But, oh, uh, but it's all great. But now, nah, we're going to talk. Now, I'm pondering on this yeah, shit. Yeah, we're going to think, we think about it. But, but, but so we're going we gonna, we gonna to do some new music, man. Like, so... 
what do you got in mind? Like, what what is like, man? You saying you doing an EP? What's it, so? What is like? What is the vision? Like, what is this? What is this album gonna be about? Like, what is the man? Feeling? I want I want I want to do I want to do like what well, grip gripping them. They got they got grown folk music. Okay. Seeing seeing got dirty work. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just want to do you know what I'm saying? Just some some now, but. A duck, you know what I'm saying? Right, all right, all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like it got like 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 some funk soul to it, but you know what I'm saying? It's it's street. Right, right. You know what like saying? what? Like what? Tell me what type? Like what? Devin the Dude type? Like or what? Like um some Larry June type? What some be legit type? Like what? Some Boosie type? What we talking? What we what what what, 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 we, what we talking? Give me a type. It's a it's a it's like a it's like a Hmm. I say I, I say like 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 some like some some West Coast and Texas kind of mix. You okay, something like some B legit, some like E forty type shit. Yeah, with like eight oh eight and nine oh nine. With the eight oh eight and nine oh nine. Yeah. yeah. What would you know about the nine oh nine? Shit. They saying told he had the ASR ten. I used to play with that shit a little bit, but uh, I know my yeah, lane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them nine oh nine drums weak. There you go. That's, that's, that's old school, though, but I'm just saying, enhanced now? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, that should have been so goddamn nigga, crispy. Nigga, and... nigga, nigga, I got some drums to make you fart, nigga. That whole kick in your chest make you... <laughs> oh. Nigga say... <laughs> make, you, know, that's, you know, the trunk got to yeah, do nigga, something. Nah, nah, I'm trying to break your window. I'm yeah. trying to... Nigga, I'm, I'm trying to. I, when, I want that kind of yeah, shit. I like that saying? shit, man. Like yeah, some, yeah. like some shit that knock. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then just, you know what I'm saying? Just some, some different kind of. I don't know, nigga. Some trap soul, right. nigga. I'm gonna right. make up some new shit. Trap soul. Right. <laughs> man, what you think was the best year in hip hop history? Man. And how long of a run you think it lasted? Uh, man, when Pac was doing uh, the California run, the Death Row, yeah, the Death Row era, yeah, 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 that yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> then she working with I mean, some I'm bad shit. Cash head. money. <laughs> From everybody though, but I'm just saying. Now, I ain't gonna lie though. When I first heard that 400 <laughs> degrees though. That be hard. Nigga, I'm talking about now, nigga. I'm talking about in the motherfucking Sony CD deck, nigga, with the headphones, nigga. And that motherfucker just came on, nigga. I just, nigga, I swear, to, I swear on everything, nigga. I got hypnotized. What is that for? I agree. I think you know what I'm saying. Nigga, you know me on fire. You're 17 inch from roll. Like, man, magic on the tires. You know what I'm saying? Seven inch, I mean, seven inch momos with magic on the tires. Say that my nigga say, I know how to treat a hoe. <laughs> but you, well, you had no limit, but no limit, man. Say, oh my, say, when I heard Fiend first album, now Fiend, oh my God, nigga, when I first heard that, who got that, the fire? Who got that fire? Won't you pass Boy, me that, that green so that I KLC get making them beats? Was that Beats by the Pound? Damn right, there was Beats by the Pound. That's why that bitch was jamming, nigga. Boy, say. Ooh. Nigga. Man, they were one of the top producers. Like, man, you, they, they, nigga, they was going against the whole world. Oh, them niggas, them niggas quit bullshit, man. man y'all they y'all ain't too against, old, my nigga. Nah, y'all man, need come They were going man. against the whole world, nigga, and just came through that bitch like nigga. Crush it, bro. Man. You know what I'm saying? Before, and, and, and Manny was doing this thing with Cash oh, Money, yeah, yeah. Cause you and LV was out. But it was just, you, the Master P just, I don't know, man. It's just like he had that thought what every man wants, you know what I'm saying? And he did it. You know what I'm saying? His whole fruition came through, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga said, a tank, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he made that bitch work. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, when Mia X album came out, nigga. Oh, man, that bitch, that was jamming, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, then when Max Shell Shock album came out. <laughs> nigga, the No Limit Party, all that, man, say, man. Man, Mr. Serve on. Hey yeah. Man, that nigga used to talk some white shit. Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel. I'm gangster fire. <laughs> hey yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
It was so many. Then you like, I was waiting on everybody was waiting on that Peaches album to come out. One nigga named Camouflage. Huh? With one of them nigga named Camouflage or some shit. Yeah, Camouflage was on there. You know what I'm saying? We finally got to hear Peaches album because she was going hard on that Mac album. She finally came out. Her album, her album was nice. I think they should have did more promo on her. They should have made her shit go platinum. Yeah. Man, I'm trying to, I'm telling you, I'm trying to thank them, them niggas. That was on No Limit, I, man. Them niggas trying to this, jack us for our song. They they who, did a get them up too. Who? Right at the same time. I can't remember these niggas' names. They was on No Limit. What, Crime Family? Gambino Family? It, I think it's something like Steady that. Mobbing. You know what I'm saying? You got Steady Mobbing. You got uh uh who else, what who else was a group on there? Uh, I think those are the only groups I really know of. I remember Popeye was on there, but Popeye wasn't no group. Shout out Popeye. Popeye, Popeye used to go hard. Uh, that boy, nigga, I tell you who else went hard. Uh, uh, um, God damn me. Uh, the one would be singing all the uh, hooks. Uh, Golly, I know his name. Got his name right on my man. That's that's messed up. You right. We need to stop doing this. You know what I'm saying? Man, but, it's 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 because I got his face right here right now. Uh, he came out the album with the piano and uh uh. They keep on goddamn having G's. Oh, you know who I'm talking about? Uh. Not putting no written down behind it, but it still ain't coming out. Man, I'm telling you, man. We heard that goddamn song. It's, it's something because, like, it's a group. You know what I'm saying? And you said the song? That song was also called Get Em Up? Huh? You said they song was also called Get Em Up? Man, all I know them niggas saying, Get Em Up, nigga. <laughs> Get Em Up. And I'm just like, damn, nigga, they sound like that <coughs> shit a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Moby Dick. You know what I'm saying? Moby well, we Dick go hard in the Oh, hell yeah. Man, now nah, y'all know who I was talking that about. That nigga made you know? that R&B like a motherfucker. Boy, made that, man, say, man. He made, he did every, he did every hook on there, man. Man, Moby Dick, yeah, he was playing, he did some of the beats, too. He was right there uh, doing some of the beats. But you can't forget about C. Murder or something. C. Murder and Silk the Shocker. Once we talked about that, but the whole No Limit, man, everything No Limit, out, everybody was out to go get that. Hey, yeah. I mean, niggas breaking their neck to get that ghetto dope. You know what I'm saying? Boy, Ice Cream Man and shit. Man, when Ice Cream Man, that man, Ice Cream Man, once that came say, out. Say, that made me a masterpiece. Man, nigga, say, I, nigga, I can't find that shit. Nigga, time to check my crack, cast my crack, cast my crack, cast. Time to check Boy, my crack, say. cast my crack, cast my crack, cast. Went through the crack, cast and opened up the safe. One nigga at the door looking at me, hella vague. The boy say, man, hey, man, say. Hey man, and then when he came out with True, Swamp Nigga. Oh, that Swamp Nigga. Uh. Oh, then they have double disc too. Then they have yeah, a that, Lux edition. Yeah. That say that disc too was. Oh, Swamp, Swamp Nigga. Swamp Nigga. Yeah, yeah, man. Swamp Nigga. Nigga. Say. Man, say. Hey. But, hey. Songs, I feel like this is about stealing songs. I'm going to tell you like this. This is how I feel about stealing songs. Because music, especially our music, because sometimes I think we got in this music and we forgot the roots. We forgot the principles of this. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you have your own style. You know what I'm saying? But we always bought, this music built up off of samples. You see what I'm saying? Remember, we used to take, we had to go take other people's music, chop it up just to get us a beat to rap over. Boy, let me find out CD. Then heard these niggas perform somewhere, nigga. And boy, I was just saying, though. swear to God, yeah. nigga. I'm sitting here thinking to me, I never had that thought in my life till now. I'm sitting there like, I'm like, did that nigga come to us with that song? Did he? I'm like, we, we're gonna have to, we have to research again because we have to make a correction on that one or something. Yeah. Because I'm just like, damn, did he bring us that concept? Because, damn, that's kind of weird, my nigga. Like, yeah. I don't what, know, man. What? Everything be questionable now. You know, it, you it, know, over time, you can right. just really deep dive. Yeah, yeah. Be like, man, I be really, thinking about real nigga shit. Yeah, what's really going like, on? Yeah. Like, 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 honestly, 
Yeah. Bro, like, nigga, nigga. Yeah. It just, but it I just think bad it's not, business, but I think bro. But I, think I just feel like the niggas should have still compensated us some kind of way, right, bro. Right, right. Nah, you right. know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. That's all I got to say. Right. That ain't no strong. I ain't got no beef, no play. Right. I'm, just, I'm just being real. Like, right. he, he could have did something, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? To just smooth the shit over. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Man, it could have been a little pocket change or something, right. nigga. Right. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some grease nigga pockets. Right. At least you thought about it, nigga. Yeah. Hey, you just... Bowed out on nigga, ain't seen you no motherfucking more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And all nigga was left with a motherfucking t shirt. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit, bro. Let's get them. Nah, it ain't that. Pass me them things. Let's get them. No, it ain't that. No, 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 no. These niggas in the group. And they was like, like, get them up, niggas. How the fuck they was saying, yeah. but it was. Right. So, right. so it's like, damn. Cause, Cause, if he if he brought us this concept and then nigga try to match up dates, nigga like, nigga, did you set us up for some bullshit or something? Oh, um, you know what I'm so, saying? So I don't saying, know. So man. what you saying? So you saying what you saying now? Your owner or somebody uh, what heard this song and take and brought it to y'all and, know, and instead of instead of y'all making the song and then somebody heard it and taking it from y'all. But anyway, it goes. <laughs> I tell you like this, <laughs> cause that sounds like a fucking conundrum right there. You know what I'm saying? And I'll tell you like this, but just for somebody to do that, it's an honor sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes I know you need to, see, if you do it, reach out, you know what I'm saying? But hip hop built on that, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. You know, fuck we, it. you know, it's like boom, boom, boom. You I don't know? Even, I don't, I'm just speaking, like, you know, I don't give a fuck man, about that shit, man, you know what I'm like, saying? Man, it's crazy. Shit funny to me, man. It, right. it just be another story, you right, know what right, I'm saying? Right. I just I just like the story. But I bro. think people should give people their credit. I think should, people should shout them out if they do it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? In, in, a, in a slick way, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah. it, and keep it pushing, cause you know what I'm saying. It's just like rappers always been iron shopping iron. Like they, we look at people, we study people, yeah, we man. master certain things, and we come out that corner. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just gotta swing. start reaching out. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Especially not like, not at times when it's convenient, right. or, or you try, or you mm -hmm. want something like, bro. Mm -hmm. Like it's so many niggas in the city, bro. Right. Like period, bro. Like it's people that go hard to be motherfucker ain't never heard of. Right. You know what I'm saying? They got little old channels and shit and everything. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and, and it's just like shit. People just need to start embracing each other. Right. You know what I mean? Nah, for real. Like right now, I know this boy go hard, nigga, from the cliff, nigga. Trap Wayne. Yeah. Man, so you need to tap in with him, man. Check him out. Trap Wayne, man. Go hard, man. Like, for sure. doing this thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. like really, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna put him in my music. Yeah, Trap in my Wayne. music right now. Trap Wayne and Rollo the Pimp. Rilo the pimp from Grass House. Then he went to Powerhouse Record. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, he started out doing his own thing. You know what I'm saying? He was with uh, the group called um, Young Hustlers. They used to have a song back in the day called Starch Down. You know what I'm saying? Sweet Cadillac. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, he said, yo. Yeah. Oh, y'all still looking for that song, man. But sometimes, sometimes it be coincidental. You know how sometimes the universe talks to us and bring that shit with you. Nigga, you don't even know y'all niggas have the same thought pattern. <coughs> man, you know how many times we done did songs and motherfuckers done beat us to punch like, damn, man, I had a song similar to that or this and that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's sometimes right, like like it just it just be like it not it be like this sometimes. Say it yeah. make you think, nigga. Is it a mic in a nigga head or something? Look, I, I bullshit you not, right? Yeah. Uh, what was it? The nine six Fleetwood. Uh huh. And I was just like, that's like a dream car to a nigga. Right. The big bitch with the five point seven in that right. motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And I said, man, a nigga put a screen in the steering wheel. Right. Uh, what's the song that and uh, Ludacris came out with, where he had the motherfucking lack with the motherfucking screen and the motherfucking uh, stern wheel? I said, look at this nigga. I said, I thought of this shit. Right, right. And I see this shit, and I'm just like, that fucked me up. That's how it is. That it shit be. crazy, man. That shit. I remember one time, nigga, I thought about putting a fish tank in the motherfucking car, and then oh, I Lord. seen Manny Fresh and with the motherfucking <laughs> with the motherfucking fish in the car, and niggas. 
poof with the amplifiers. You know what I'm saying? Gator boo with Man. the pimped out Gucci suit. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like for real, like I know so it'd be like that. Fly. Nah, it, it be like that, man. But shit, man, what you think about BG? Have you been listening to BG new music? Yeah, he's straight, man. Man, BG going, man. Yeah, same. he's straight. He going yeah. hard, man. Yeah, yeah, he going hard. Man, I'm going to tell you something, though. Uh, it, it's one it's one of them Chopper City songs that nigga got, man. What? Uh, it's one of his old shit. What called me to clean up, man? Now, what's that bitch? Uh... With the K off of my hand, ready to pick a blast, cause I'm the clean up man. Oh my god. I'm coming to get ya. Scrap my elbow for What's that motherfucking shit uh? We be saying cash money is an army nigga. A, a navy, navy nigga. nigga. If yeah. you ever try to harm a nigga, yeah, ain't But that nigga. actual song that he do like that? Um, yeah, that that be star say. Yeah. Yeah. Now what what, what that, that, that I be thugging and it ain't no secret. I, yeah. I like that chopper sitting in the ghetto, all that shit. We should jam yeah. shit out that shit. Yeah, yeah. Man, that, that nigga there. Yeah. That, that nigga said, that nigga built that shit, bro. Yeah, that nigga did that, didn't he? Yeah. Then he, I'm talking about, yeah. He put, the, he put cash money on his motherfucking Man, back. Every time you turn yeah. around, it was a new yeah. CD, new yeah. CD, new mm. CD. Yep. Yeah. You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? And, and everything was jamming. Right. Man, the fresh beating the shit out that goddamn boy. Boy, say. You know say, what I'm saying? Man. Man, say. Say man, man, say man. You know who uh, who I think go hard, man. The bitch that been getting overlooking that. It's a lot of them. It's hard to say that, man, because the D when they say when you speak the D, you gotta know the D because there's a lot of us out here. It's a lot of us who like nigga. I remember a nigga named Two Piece back in the day, man. Go so hard, man. Nigga just walk around, beat on this chest all day on the bus stop. But it, motherfucking me, uh, Lil Ross. But they call now he uh, he changed the name to Seven Shot. Man, that boy sing. That boy nice. That boy nice right there. He under yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? I need mean, people to tap in him, man. But say, I always ask this question. You yes, know what I'm sir. saying? If you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? Yeah. Nigga, I got them two hour blunts. <laughs> Are you going to really fuck with that music? And what would your answer be? Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. But is you going to take it serious? I'm going like, to take it serious, man. Like, so have you learned? My baby already said she support me, so. Right. So shit. if I, so if, let me ask you this. So I'm going to, because like, some people like, because you already said get a lawyer. And a lawyer costs. Yeah. But don't let that discourage you. Never let when somebody tell you something this cost or this or this or this or scares you. I yeah. always know like, okay, yeah, I'm on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to always have that mind phrase, all right, boy, I'm on that. And go see what it is and make your way towards that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And what do you have right now to sustain you in your career moving forward right now to handle your business? Well, handle your business. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry I said that wrong. Shit. Got J O to the motherfucking B. Okay, so my thing. Do you know anything about ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, Sound Exchange, Harry Fox Agency, MLC? Shit, I need to sign up to all of them. Sound like yes. Yeah. Because how you gonna get your writers? How you gonna get your writers royalties? Yeah. How you gonna get your publishing? Yeah. How you gonna get your money publishing when you putting this music out here and, through and, distribution? Mm. How you gonna? How you gonna? Yeah. How you? How you gonna collect? Your, your, your streaming royalties, you yeah. know what I'm saying? How you gonna collect your physical royalties if you ever sell something physical? You know what I'm saying? Because cause the CD stores and the record shops are still open. You can still do vinyls and you can still do CDs. You can still sell those. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got you got agencies and administrators yeah. you need to co collaborate, like Song Trust to get, collect money on your behalf. You know what I'm saying? Which ASCAP and all that's supposed to do, but Song trust is something that can go and do it faster for you and you know, things like that. So you need BDS in case you still want to get internet radio spin because internet radio still 
counts towards plaques and everything like that. It's people you don't hear every day that go through the internet radios and still making it up the charts and everything like that. It ain't always about being on your local radio station. Your local yeah, radio station man. is just one avenue. That's, you know what, that's what I'm saying. We can't always just put it all on K104 and, you know what I'm saying, 97.9 the beat. But still, then again, this is a home station. Yeah. And we should always be putting a segment, not a segment, but a, um, a constant rotation on the ones that came before, yeah. you know what I'm saying, or that made the hits or whatever in, in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? You need a hood nigga station. I mean, you, well, yeah, but you used to have a K in on in, but, you know, um, a lot of people got to go out there and support that type yeah. of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got to really try to support that, yeah. and if you're going to support it, support it to the max. You know what I'm saying? And make them elevate, you know what I'm saying, to where they can get online yeah. and really support you and move you here yeah, and throw you on shows good. and yeah. throw festivals and really bring the money in, yeah. get with these DJs and get with these uh, the, and sound scans and all that stuff and get them to spend your stuff, do the performance and get your performance royalties, and, you know what I'm saying, book these festivals on your own and get the, uh, get the show money from the people, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, but it's all about coming together. Like, once people, th what black folks, or our people really don't know. It's yeah. like, yeah, a lot of stuff costs. But like, man, if it's if it's ten of us, you know what I'm saying. And, I, and if I got thirty dollars, you got thirty dollars. He got yeah. thirty dollars. You know what I'm saying. There you go. See. And then that's, you split it. And then you that's split. How I, that's how I can folk right. do. Right. And then you then what you and do they ain't is doing no trip. Then what you do is when you throw the shows, you know everybody putting in this, and this is how much this is cost. Okay, you break yeah. down the cost of that, and then you double that, so you can make your money back plus a profit and split it and split the pie. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say it on here, but I got, I got a shirt uh -huh. that I'm gonna get made, uh -huh. and it might be funny, it might be offensive, but right. it's real, right? Because nigga, our, our Spanish folk, uh -huh. nigga, they got the plan, bro. Right. I mean, like, bro, like they know how to come together, my nigga. Yeah, they do. You know what I'm saying? We can get mad at them all they all we want to right. and, and say little shit or whatever, right. bro. But at the end of the day, my nigga, they they got their shit together, yeah, bro. They got their we shit we together. we need to look at that shit and just right. be more together right. and just let bygone be bygone, bro. Right, and, right. You know what I'm saying? Just you know what I'm saying? Be be chilling, man. It'd be it be better. Right. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? We we just be so intense and shit be so stressful anyway, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's just so easy to right. pop off and, right. you know what I'm saying, be a certain type of way and shit, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just need to learn how to get along, bro, and not let, you know what I'm saying, little shit, right. you know what I'm saying, keep you separated and divided, man, you know what I'm saying? Everybody right. ain't gonna make the same shit, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody not gonna have the same shit, but shit, if we can come together on some shit, hell, everybody can goddamn Look like how they used to be when niggas selling dope in the 80s, nigga. This nigga had a chain on. Everybody had a chain on. Everybody had a chain on. You see what I'm saying? Right. It ain't even about the chain. It's just the point. Everybody look like they match. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's fucked up, nigga, that I be sitting over here some Fender and shit, nigga. And, yeah. and you over there some goddamn... Yeah, what whooped the way. You know, know what, what I'm saying? saying? Some Jordan ass. Yeah. yeah. You know what, you know what, what I'm saying? Some Wranglers saying? or some you shit. Know what you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Goddamn. Goddamn me. Some gun holes. Goddamn. <laughs> Say, man. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You're like, man, I'm just saying. But nah, like, we just we just need to take care of each other better, man. You I know mean, what I'm saying? What that's what Sauce Walker did with uh with it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what he did with them, man. Yeah, too. man. And that nigga doing his thing, mm -hmm. bro. You know what I'm saying? All them boys over there being millionaires yeah. and everything. They got shit going And they on. making easy money. Right, right. You hear me, bro? Well, yeah. And them niggas, them niggas just, it's just like, bro, I like how, how they do their music, bro. Right. They, they do it with ease right. and they be they self, man. Right, because they see the vision. They see yeah. what they see what everybody needs. They see what, and you got to put, one thing about when you build something, you got to put people in, in position. When you building a house, you got to have a cornerstone. You know what I'm saying? When the cornerstone, you gotta have everything has a position. You gotta make sure everything is treated properly. You know what yeah. I'm saying? In order for it to work. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you know, like and like independent money is good and shit, shit like that. But you gotta you gotta know how to move move with the with the um, majors in certain ways. You gotta know how to get certain deals that benefit you. You know what I'm saying too? Yeah. At the same time, and sometimes you got like I remember he was saying he didn't want to go out and do this. You know what I'm saying with another label. Sometimes you gotta go off. Sometimes you gotta bring that back and build everybody up. And like you said, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Master P knew that. That's what made Master P successful. He made sure everybody was ready and ready to go. You know yeah. what I'm saying. That's what made Dipset 
successful. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Bro. Like, and see, that's that's my thing. Like we were doing, we were doing like. I felt like, you know what I'm saying, if, if, if you know what I'm saying, you want to venture off, you know mm. what I'm saying, or do whatever, I'm not against it. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Because I respect you for this right. shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like, you know what I'm saying? I took it a certain type of way. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So shit. But, but then I understood, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, at that time, you know what I'm saying, they had different responsibilities than me. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying, shit, seize the opportunity while you can. I get that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it took me time, over time to understand that shit right. and not looking at it like, you know what I'm saying, niggas doing the move. I mean, it ain't nothing like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Made a kind of decision, do what you Shit, I'm cool with that. Right. Hey, I, shit, I get it. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so the flow is yours, man. Anything you want to get off your chest, let it go if you want to. Any any anybody want to get a shout out? Get a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Like let them know where they can reach you too. Cause everybody, where we get your social media. Cause we, I didn't get that last time. I didn't get your social Man. media. None of that. You know what I'm saying? We need all that there. You know let what me, I'm saying? Let me, let me make sure. Cause and you know shout what I'm out saying? to Easy E R R P. Man, I like that Man. Easy E shirt. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's 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 another inspiration right mm -hmm. there, man. Yeah. Man, you used to you used to uh, jam. Uh, Vanilla Ice? Man, you know what? I'm gonna tell you something, man. Uh, that, that goddamn shit done. Nah, man, I tried to. I couldn't do it. Well, man, you and you and Jenna, Ice, Ice, baby, man, that's a dime. Like, no. Man, shit, man, you came in. Ice, Ice, baby. Hell. Go ninja, go ninja, go. That shit was all right. Man, shit, man, that shit was jamming, man. <laughs> Yo, you, you know about? what I'm saying? Man, uh, man, what you fucking talking about, champ? You know what I'm saying? How you talking about what? <laughs> Vanilla Ice was jamming with it. You know what I'm saying? He was jamming. Hit <laughs> <laughs> it with your uh, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with a See, I told you, you knew, yeah, there you Something go. Something grabs a hold of me tightly, softly, <laughs> yeah. Will it ever stop? I don't Yo, know. Nigga. Turn off the lights and I'll glow. To an extreme, I rock the mic like a Vandal Hemmings. <laughs> yeah, nigga, that shit there. Oh, 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 oh. He uh, was like, what you know, what you know? <laughs> You better stop playing with me, oh, man. Shit. You better stop playing with me, man. Oh, Just, man. Nigga, no, 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 nigga, what you say, nigga? Nigga, from Nigga, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Straight up, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I rock level. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shag yeah. on my head, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, shag on my head, nigga. Goddamn yeah. me, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, we get it right. <laughs> Say, uh, Instagram, you know what I'm saying? The number one underscore billion underscore yen. Y-E-N. That is what that is. You got a YouTube? Uh yeah, big champ D R B. It ain't shit on there though. See, oh, we gotta man, we gotta fill that motherfucker up. Yeah, we have to put some on there, man. God damn, champ, we gotta see. You gotta tell me. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. They we can't let these jobs control our lives, man. No, 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 ain't about the job. It yeah, just, yeah, it just, yeah, yeah. it just, yeah, man. Cause you know I owe it to myself, but then I owe it to my folks too. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Cause I'm in one point of time, man, like. It felt good to like hear people say, man, you ain't, you ain't did nothing more. It was just like on the constant, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get in there, woo -woo. but I already bullshit. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't finna do nothing right there, right, you know what right. I'm saying? But it just felt good that people asked. So when the asking died down and right. niggas wasn't talking to niggas and woo, -woo this, that, and the third, it's just like, damn, nigga, you letting everything slip by, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, cause nigga, you got enough talent, nigga, you can make some kind of bread for the house, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm already looking at like shit. Nigga make some some straight shit. He can get streams, all that shit. That shit'll start adding up somewhere. You know, that just right. be some extra money going. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause I had already told Bunk, I'm like, shit, when I start doing some shit, you know what I'm saying? I want him to be the one, you know what I'm saying, filming shit. You know what, what I'm saying? Really, Keeping yeah. it in-house, you know yeah. what I mean? Bunk you doing so, his thing right yeah. now. Yeah. And then and plus you, plus two, you can build your own website, got people buying from yeah. it's going back to the old school way of yeah, buying music bro. too. So everything is right about right about, you know what I'm saying? Music is endless, you know what I'm saying? Like, golly, I'm just saying, like, when I seen Rod Run on stage, when I seen Al Green on stage, when I see all that, you know what I'm saying? And then two, Birdman. No, you can't forget people like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When I see Be Legit, when I see E40. When I see all these guys like that, you know what I'm saying? 
You know, it's like, okay, they still going. They still doing their thing. Even 8-Ball and MJG. 8-Ball that's, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, <clears throat> I, I really got to rebuke that enemy, bro. Rebuke right. that spirit, bro. Right. Regardless, nigga, what kind of music I'm doing. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. My nigga, like, real talk. Like, God know your heart. You know what I'm saying? Right. And... Shit, whatever it takes, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Because even though, you know what I'm saying, niggas doing street shit, party shit, somewhere that's gonna reach somebody, you know what I'm saying, to help them better they self. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That's that's in anything, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People people try to put it so much like, you know what I'm saying, you doing this type of music, but you, you know what I'm saying, you supposed to be a changed man living right and shit, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? That what? Are we good? All right, but yeah. pre press record real quick. Not into press record to stop it, yeah. and then press it again. Yeah. yeah. Two bars left. All right, cool. All right, just just want to make sure you don't mess up that tape. Yeah. But, but yeah, but say, don't you remember like, you remember dating family? Uh huh. Going through a thing. You know what I'm saying? Going through a thing. Yeah. And then the night, and then huh? Two bars. All right, hold on one moment. But yeah, like I was saying, you remember the dating family, right? Yeah. So. Going through a thing. Going through a thing. Yeah. So sometimes, like with this music, when you coming out with people, everybody wanna go, but everybody uh, sell cocaine. Say, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, you're you know what what I'm just saying. That's what the people want. You know what I'm saying? They want that ghetto dope. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They want, that's what they want. Ain't that know? some shit you said that? Uh huh. Cause nigga, I seen Rainwater on one goddamn interview. He gonna talk about uh, yeah, and everybody in Dallas do cocaine. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? How you gonna say everybody doing coke in Dallas, nigga? How you gonna put that jacket on our back for the world to hear? That's crazy. Red, for the record, everybody in Dallas don't do cane, but Red, I'm, hell, I'm don't no, do no, cocaine. No, no. But I'm gonna tell you That's something. That's crazy. I'm gonna tell you something. It's a lot of niggas that do cocaine. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Say. Shit. Say. Niggas, niggas, boy, niggas be on some shit. Right. Pills and hey, every motherfucking I, thing. Nigga, I remember when Wet was at his, when, 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 that, when, when that dip was at his highest, boy, mm -hmm. say, boy, niggas around here used to be on stuck. I used Man, to I remember I used to get that shit for uh, like about, about 270 a zip. <laughs> I used to go get that shit out of Royal Crest, nigga. Yeah, Royal Crest there in the cliff, right there in the end. Right Shout there. out to the homie. Nigga, Royal you know Crest was a death pool. <laughs> say, boy, you go over, say, boy, boy, say, I used to have that, I used to have that goddamn piss. I used to have that shit with niggas doing yeah. Dragon Ball Z, nigga. You know what I'm they say, uh, nigga say that cat piss, you know what I'm saying? Say, nigga, 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 that Freddy Cougar, nigga. The gorilla, that dragon. <laughs> that. Shit. I'm telling you, man. Them boys say, man, that just used to be, man, say when drink came. I used to smoke that shit, though. Man, say that dip, yeah. Yeah, buddy. man. Well, that dip. I had like a wag attack twice. Oh, my God. The first time, the first time it happened, man. I was just smart enough. I know something was fucked up. Yeah. I, mean, I went in the closet and got the rifle and shit, nigga. And I told everybody, I said, y'all got to go. Everybody, get the fuck out. <laughs> get the fuck out. I went in there and laid on the bed with the motherfucking chopper, nigga, just laying there and shit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And my bro, nigga, he had, he had to talk me off the ledge, my nigga. Like, come on, uh, lock the door and shit. He called on the phone and shit. Come over the door, man. Man, I think that was the worst thing that happened to Dallas. Say, I'm, I'm gonna man, tell you something, man. Because shit, that I, shit, I mean, that shit, the nah, devil, bro. Nah, it is. You swear to God, saying? bro. I, I, I hate I ever fucked with that yeah, shit, nah, my nigga. Cause, nigga, cause I tripped one time on that hoe. I was like, oh no, nah, I never do that shit again. But that, like I say, nigga, that shit right there. Even drink when drink came. Nah, just that so, ain't my shit right there. Drink was just Ooh. like, man. Drink was just like, oh, like, like that was just like every day, all day, nonstop. Yeah. Everybody had a cup. We made the corner stores rich. Say. I'm Off of Jolly you. Ranchers, yeah. sodas, yeah. cups. Nigga, nigga, why you think Sprite's still in business? You know what I'm saying? Shit. Sprite remix, all that. All that, anything Sprite called summertime yeah, nigga, flavor. Nigga, peaches, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Big Peach. Big Peaches, all yeah. that. Yeah. But when they started yeah, getting yeah. wild when boys started doing root beers and- Cream soda. And all that, boys, boys started doing everything. No, now I'm going to tell you something. This what done tripped me out. What? When when the green drink came out, uh, oh yeah. Now you want me to tell you why? Thing. Now you want me to tell you why it fucked me? Now I'm used to all cause, cause like when I did try to call myself sipping that shit, I used to mm -hmm. like that yellow. Right. Where that shit look kind of grainy in the bottom. That itchy itchy. Yeah. So so you knew the shit was good if you had a little sand in the yeah, bottom of that shit. Itchy itchy. Yeah. Yeah. So 
But you know, it was the yellow, the mm -hmm. purple, and the red. Yeah, the red good. Yeah, the red good. Yeah, you know red, what I'm saying? Good, yeah. But okay, so now this real nigga shit, the first time I ever seen some green, my wife had this dog named Bambi. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And she took the motherfucker to the vet or whatever. They gave the motherfucker some dog pimentazine. Uh -huh. So I seen pimentazine. I'm like, damn. Nigga, I, I pulled I pull it and look at it. I said, green? What the fuck is this shit? So when I started hearing about motherfuckers drinking green, that's all I can think about is motherfucking right. dog syrup, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? From the vet. <laughs> On God, nigga. Swear to God, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that shit thought, was green. So you thought niggas so was drinking niggas, the dog sir, so, and you was drinking it so too? So you know how niggas say it'd be a shortage? Yeah, and you was drinking and it nigga, too? Oh, I didn't drink that shit. And I'm saying when, nigga, when I started hearing niggas saying they drinking that green shit. Right, right. I'm like, damn. Damn, niggas on that dog I'm, I'm like, damn, did they pop the motherfucking dog syrup on y'all? You know what I'm saying? You drinking green and shit? Because that's the only time I seen some green drink. And it was fucking dog shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, damn, nigga. Nah, nah, that ain't, nah, that ain't no dog shit, nigga. <laughs> That's fermentazine <laughs> without the codeine. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker said fermentazine on that goddamn bottle, bro. Is it? For, for, for this dog. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she dead and shit now. Yeah. My baby, Bing, uh, we used to call her Bink Bink, but her name was Bambi. Right. Yeah, shit. So Bambi was getting linked out. Whatever the fuck was wrong with it, they described it that shit. Because so it was in the medicine cabinet. So Bambi, was, so Bambi was on that drink. I don't know how many times she took that shit. Well, this that between her and this, Bambi, this, I don't know. This thumbnail going to be wild as hell. I'm going to find a dog drink on some drink. Say, bro. So when I heard niggas, I said, I heard somebody rap that shit about drinking some green shit. Yeah. Oh, man. I said, some green? Yeah. I'm like, hell no. Hell to the no, no, no. I always seen some dog drink. Hell to the no. <laughs> but hey, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, man, what the fuck? <laughs> Real nigga you shit. Ain't never, man, you ain't never been to the camp or nothing. You ain't yeah. never. Yeah. You... Oh, nigga, I remember one time, nigga, we promoting our CD, nigga. We was uh -huh. on the seawall, nigga. Okay. And nigga, we ran into some nigga from Ace Town, bro. And them niggas like, you know. Some big niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, damn. He like, man, what's that y'all got, bro? So, nigga, like, shit. Nigga, we from Dallas, you know what I'm saying? So, sin, we was done the third. So, like, that nigga looked at our shit and he said, ha ah, man, nobody don't want this shit. Nigga, we lost it. <laughs> it didn't get to go down because, you know, too many police on goddamn Sea Wild, but it's right. just like one of them, like, nigga, we into it, bro. Like, nigga, <laughs> threw our shit down. Nigga, I had never seen nothing like that in my life. Damn, nigga just, nigga just, nigga just. Man, nigga threw our shit on the ground, bro. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Right in front of y'all. What? Oh, okay. They was on that type of shit. But they was cool at first. But, but see, that, that, okay, a nigga with a weak ass mind, uh -huh. when some shit happened like that, uh -huh. you done put a jacket on the whole city. Right. Fuck these H Town niggas. Right. Now, fuck this nigga. Yeah, fuck Cause that he nigga. threw my shit on the ground. Right, right, right. I love H Town, bro. Right, you right. Know what I'm saying? Right. But if you got a weak ass mindset at that time, you would have been on. We flipped out just because of disrespect. Right. It wasn't fucking. No, nah, nigga, fuck you and your homeboys, nigga. Right. Like, y'all. But it would have been some weak minded motherfucker. They came back home on that shit and got to talking shit about H Town niggas and everybody else ain't got nothing to do with it. Right. See, that's that, that's that weak right, ass shit. Right, right. Instead right. of just addressing them niggas. Kind of like the East Coast, West Coast. Yeah. Like bro. they kind of trying to bring up right now between. Uh, uh, Lil Wayne and uh, Kendrick Lamar because the Super Bowl. <sighs> that shit, you know what, but man? But they, they trying to do West Coast against That's South. That's politics, no, bro. West, um, West against the South. Like, you, like, like, they don't even know. They don't even know the CT mob. They don't even know the connection. You know what I'm saying? They got be CT mob and CT mob and CT mm -hmm. mob and... Yeah, CT, nigga. M-O-B. We be breaking niggas back and make their back go... You know what I'm saying? Like, boot, CT, Marvin. Yeah, but it's like, no, nah, man. But. <laughs> so you break him motherfucking back. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, nah, CT, Marvin, we connected like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know I don't know what it is. I know everybody, like you say, how Sebo showed y'all love. Yeah, you know I mean, I wish I could have met that nigga, man. Because I'm going to tell you something, man. I'm, I'm such a. Even, even right now, man, at the age I am, nigga, I'm 46, bro. Right. Nigga, I, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, like, 
Nigga, I love West Coast, my nigga. Right. nigga like, nigga, I'm just a fan of that shit, my nigga. Right. Like, when they did uh, Mount Westmore, yeah. boy, that bitch jammed so motherfucking hard, nigga. Yeah. Boy, I was playing that bitch every day for about two weeks. <laughs> nigga, I was in there just, just playing with that motherfucking ep on that bitch. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. just, that bitch just drop. I'm just like, say, I, I like uh, that Bay Area shit. Yeah. Cause it's like nigga, like they can make some gangster shit, or they can make that goddamn that Bay Area right. dance and shit. But right. man, it's just it's just like niggas like they just got some tight basses and shit. Nah, you know what I'm real. saying? Nah, for real. You know, I'm, they, like I'm serious. They, bro. they the master the Sonics of that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I swear, and bro. H Town too. Yeah. And like when I the jam zero and shit like that, man. That my time, yeah. nigga. That should be like nigga tight. So I know uh, what you mean. And speaking of that, it, it's it's some nigga down in H Town, bro. Uh huh. Nigga, I, man, I got me a little old toy I'm going to start fucking with. I want to take it down to these niggas, let these niggas put this bang in there. What, it's a shop down in H-Town? Yeah. He do, he do system? It's a, it's a slim nigga wear glasses, light-skinned right. nigga. Right. And these niggas be cracking trunks. What they, what they doing? Cro uh, what, them crossfires or something? What I, don't, they I don't know what the fuck they putting in the trunk. Oh. I, I, I think the nigga really like shit. Really, it's on you what you want to fuck with. You know right. what I'm saying? I so, need I need something to break windows. That's what I'm saying, bro. I need something to where I gotta get specialized windows when that should be. Yeah, man, like that bass, man. Man, like nigga, I be listening to like sometimes nigga, I be blowing my system out listening to like some juveniles on 30 hertz. You know, if you go on YouTube, you can listen to your favorite music in a certain hertz. So I be listening to shit. Nigga, that shit gonna be low. Low, nigga. I done did 10 hertz, 20 hertz, 30 hertz, and that motherfucker just. You trying to make your ears bleed? Nigga, nah, no, I'm not, nigga. I'm trying to, nigga. I'm just trying to throw up you in trying, the truck. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? All I'm trying shit. to do is get high and throw up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Throw up. You know what I'm saying? Just pop me, boom, do do do. Yeah, man, yeah. That shit crazy. I love that bass, man. Mm -hmm. I love that. That that's that's. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Mm -hmm. Shit. The Grove and the Cliff. Mm -hmm. Known for that bass. Oh yeah, nigga known for that bang. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, man. Oh nigga. yeah, definitely. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, yeah, shit. Goddamn me. There's a lot of producers that came out of here. You know, Spliffs. I don't know if you know Spliff Wayne Fire Station. Oh, that sound for me. He came from the Grove. You know he had what I'm saying? Yeah, the studio out there on the Grove on Lou Twelve. That's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just. Just just because like, you know what I'm saying, you ain't, you know what I'm saying, you doing, you doing music, bro, you ain't got to get caught up in the lifestyle, you know what I'm saying. So you don't know any, you know any Dallas DJs? Uh, man, my nigga, my nigga RT, Dirty RT ass, shout out to that nigga. Oh, really? Uh, my nigga DJ Magic, okay. you know what I'm saying. Uh, man, he got this one chick that's a... Uh, under his company, that DJ for him. Uh -huh. Man, say, that little chick go hard in the bitch. Uh -huh. I swear. She, she keep the party going, man. Why? Uh, you know, I just ain't been on that club scene like that, bro. Well, it's time so, to get back to it. It's time to get active. You know what I'm saying? Champ. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man. Champ. It's time to get back after. You know what I'm saying? Say, the yeah. champ is here. You know what I'm saying? God yeah. damn, it's time to get back I'm after. I'm gonna make it. everything work. I'm gonna balance out mm -hmm. everything. You gotta get to know everybody. Everybody yeah. gotta get to see I got, your face. I gotta get real acquainted with people. Right, you gotta shit, get real acquainted. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know who the who's yeah. and who the why. You know what I'm saying? Metal Mac and all them yeah. still out here. Uh, Cat Daddy and them still out here. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you just like you just gotta you gotta tap in. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they still out here. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. And people still there, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Hit that still doing this thing. Yeah, man, say it just like I like I said, man, I just really uh I removed myself. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see, I didn't I didn't run from nothing, nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? I just backed up off of it, you know see, what I mean? So see what it is, see, it's lit podcast, right? Yeah. Everything is about smoking. Yeah. See, see you ain't applying yourself, Smokey. Oh no. You see what I'm saying? Like <laughs> You ain't got a you character. Ain't got, you, ain't got, you ain't got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Man. <laughs> Boy, see, you, know what you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't applying yourself, Smokey. See, think about that. You know what I'm saying? Puff that, right? And then visualize it. Like, then be, Here we are. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's crazy, You know what I'm saying? Man. The, cha the champ is here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> new and approved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just new and approved. You know what I'm saying? Moving and grooving. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Moving and grooving. Ah. You know what I'm talking about? That didn't sound like Eddie saying you know what that I'm talking shit. About? Moving and grooving. Moving and motherfucking grooving. You know what I'm saying? Sticking yeah. to it. You know what I'm saying? And getting to it. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what we own. That, that's why, that's why I'll tell you, man. Yeah. I, I, I owe it to myself, man. Right. Here, and I owe it to my folks, man. Because, right on. you know what I'm saying? I, I got something to say, man. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Lead that. You know what I'm saying? Like writing. Writing is, is, is leaving a legacy. But, it's a time capsule. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's leaving the blueprint of who you are. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> That's one thing I had to, <coughs> I had I had to remember, you know what I'm saying? Like it like it's, it's leaving the blueprint of who you are sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like and 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 it just it just is what it is. And shout out to everybody in the D. Shout out to everybody who's still going. You know what I'm saying? Even motherfucking me. God damn me, Mike D and all them still yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Red Shop, you know what yeah. I'm saying? They still going. You know, ESG, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He done beat cancer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got it, then amputated his leg. That's what I'm you know, saying, that bro. Boy, like, God is giving going. people chances, bro, to still perform their talent, my nigga, and right. be they self, my nigga, and, and try to continue to generate uh, generational wealth. You know what I'm saying? To, to put in businesses and flip that shit, man, and put up, you know what I'm saying, for the, for the future. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Like, for real, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about right now. It's like, yeah, you you can you can do some shit for yourself. You can pamper yourself. You can fuck off a little money here and there, but the main objective, nigga, is, is, is to save. You know what I'm saying? And, and, just, and just be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Would you say, Ivan? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you damn right. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, we smoking Ivan and we gonna get him right. Ivan said we're gonna get you right. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, we hiring the bitch. You know what I'm saying? We high, I hide you. You know what I'm saying? Ivan gonna get yeah. us right. You know what I'm saying? We smoking on the Ivan. Right, <laughs> Ivan gonna get you right. You know what I'm saying? Play some of that George Washington. And, 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 and some shit. Of that, George, you want some of that funk? You know, them niggas never took a bath. They stayed, that's why they got their name funk because they were stinky in the studio. Who was that? <laughs> Parliament Funkadelic. George Clinton, George Funk, you know what I'm saying? So, so they just, they just record. They were just in the studio, stanky, funky, everything, just recording in there, getting messed up, getting, you know, getting blazed yeah. up, you know what I'm saying? Staying there. This, that, and, and the third. And that's where they got that funk, you know what I'm saying? That when that funk hit the pan, it's See? like bacon, <laughs> grease, and it's funky. It's funky. <laughs> Nigga, I'm serious. Oh my God. I'm serious. For real food. I'm serious. Yeah. I said he was talking about it in the interview. You know what I'm saying? I be watching that shit, but yeah, he talked about me. Them niggas in there funky, nigga, and that's where they got the funk from, nigga. That's fucked up. Fucked up, baby. Nigga, it's, 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 it's like, nigga, they went on some kind of crazy type of fast, nigga, for days. Man, say. No yeah. bab, no nothing, nigga, just, just staying in the realm, my nigga, nigga just staying goddamn, just nigga, nigga, they zoned out, nigga, man, going you know for what, what they do. Nigga, like, I, 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 I can hear my mom, I can hear my mom now, nigga. Shit. Nigga, go home, wash your ass. Nigga, your nuts probably stuck together. Nigga, Damn. shit. <laughs> I hear the thing like that. Nigga, they just strumming that bitch. Hey, <laughs> no, but Damn. yeah, that's how they was, my nigga. Like, real nigga shit. Nigga, like, nigga. Like, like they, they, and they did that, and they came out with just quality music, nigga. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's like, crazy, man. You know, shit, like, nigga. Like, for real, nigga. Say, so, you know what? What? That's, that's really, because I'm telling you, like, uh, my wife, she can handle it now. Cause she get it, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Cause she know what time it is, you know what right. I'm saying? Once upon a time, early in our marriage, she didn't get it. Right. She didn't understand like the hours. Right. You know what I'm saying? That you had to be in the studio sometime, right. nigga, like to get that shit right. right and this, that, and the third and however many songs you're doing this shit. I might leave you at five something, but goddamn, I might not come back till goddamn two right. in the morning or some shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. Mm -hmm. No shit going on, ain't no whole nothing. I'm trying to do some music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But and we were younger. You know what I'm saying? I'm 26, she's 24, so you know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. Everything looked right. Everything. You right, know what right. I'm saying? So at but, that point, you know what I'm saying? I kind of I said, well, shit, I'm gonna choose my marriage because yeah. I committed to this, you nah, know. For real. If 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 it's never no music again, <laughs> hell I got her. You got her. You so, know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Yeah, so. But that shot, but I think schoolboy Q broke the ice on that. You know what I'm saying? When he came out with that studio, I'm in the studio. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that, damn. I can't relate to the other side of that. Yeah, you know what I'm you saying? Studio, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> studio like, right here. At the house. Like, like shit. Was, you know what I'm saying? Shit, like, like, no issue. You know what I'm saying? Nah, hell shit. Goddamn me. Even then, shit, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, you was 
funny. Hell, shit, nigga. I be, nigga, I be, nigga. Like, nigga, I, I, nigga, even then, nigga, when I had my own stuff, nigga, I stay in and out that motherfucking, like, nigga, it's like. That's how we met. Like I was you saying, looking for producers, and it was one thing. I was going through producer, producer list, listening to music. Man. I was like, ain't nobody got no bass in their music, you know, and then I asked him one question. I was like, what time your studio closed? He said, studio 24-7. Nigga, was, said, uh, studio 24-7. Right nigga, <laughs> yeah. said, nigga, 24 hours, nigga. I said, Man. 24 Man. hours, nigga, it's going down. Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck you talking about? Shit. If you can't do nothing with 24 hours, then I don't know what to tell you, nigga, shit, goddamn me. I might Sorry. get, in between that 24 hours, nigga, I probably got like three hours of sleep because some niggas be bullshitting, so I've been done. Woo, 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 get back up, nigga. Yeah. Get, get some of that cereal. Or, like, shout out to my nigga Devin Duke. Get, nigga, sip on this coffee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's you know what I'm saying? Them. And then yeah. and then I sip with my brothers. You know what I'm saying? You know? For sure. Yeah, you know? And then we back at it, yeah, you know? Man. I mean, that's how we did, you know, get it busy. Nigga, we, we, we stayed in there, but damn, we recorded that song so many times. So many times. So many times. Like, nigga, until we, we got it right. And then, next, you know, they took it out, and then there it goes. It was a hit. So you never know when you put Man. precious hours in the studio what you do, especially on one song. That's why I tell a person, just because you record that right song right then and there doesn't mean they're actually done. Like I tell people too, it's good to write your song, read it with the paper, get it out, take the song, listen to it, know it by heart, then get back in here when you can spit it off the dome and you'll have more, you're more fluent with it. Now you can really play with it. You know what I'm saying? You can yeah. take them whole, that whole, that all of what you wrote. How you wrote it, how you said it, and then put it in a whole nother cadence. You can keep changing the cadence and cadence because you know it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But man, we've been on here, man. I, I man, I got shit, man. I, <laughs> I gotta put, I gotta put some, I gotta put some in my stomach. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, man. But, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I mean, my shit was over here. <laughs> but I appreciate you coming through, man. We gonna have to, you know, what I'm saying, man. I see us, I see, look, us. We like to do the long run podcast, yeah, so man. we gonna, so we gonna keep that going. You know what I'm saying? We definitely gotta bring you back, man. I appreciate you, champ, for um. Hey man, you know what I'm yeah. it's, it's a delight, bro. Yeah, and you got a lot. That of That should be fun to miss, man. And you got a lot of stories, man. I, yeah, I, I gotta man. Get, I gotta get some of them stories. And, and, out and of it. it's all fun. It's yeah. all good. Right, man. right. All the fun. And, and, all the... and I don't shit on nobody. Right, bro. right, man. Who? Oh man, who? Because because oh, I'm, yeah. I'm really showing love to everybody when I talk, when I talk my shit. Who y'all football rival? Who, who, who? And who the girl football rival? What's the rival football team? What you mean, like uh? Like was a nigga that like the for what, the high what, school? Like a DISD? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, Who the rival football team? Oh goddamn! From which school? She should know who the rival team is. What school? From which school I went to? You went to Spruce. You went to uh, Brian Adams. Brian Adams. What's right. the rival school? What's the rival school? Well, football. Well, Skyline. The Skyline one of them. Cause I know Skyline was a beast. Uh, Skyline was a beast. What Carter? Carter definitely. Uh, Carter got they so much a beast. They made a movie about them. Did, what Roosevelt? Bell, Bell, yeah, Bell had some boys on. They had some big O.D. boys. White. Uh oh, man, I don't know, man. Shit, it was always seemed like it was always some goddamn uh, shit. Oh, okay, no, yeah. right, but yeah, but who was that one team y'all always lost to? Man, I ain't finna start that shit. <laughs> I, I almost said a whole bunch of shit, though. I don't know, man. I, I quit. You know, I'm gonna I'm tell you something, man. I'm, I'm in, I'm in, one, I'm in fun, one time. You know, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Fuck yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah. I'm in one time, nigga. Uh, I forgot who we were playing. Uh, and nigga, we drunk some motherfucking Thunderbird on the bus before we before the game, nigga. Ooh, nigga, why it, was, it was kickoff, right? <laughs> yeah. Boop. Nigga, I done ran past. Everybody. <laughs> I was on the other end of the field by myself. <laughs> nigga, I turned around and looked. I said, I'm done with this shit. I ain't fucking with this shit no more. I never went to practice no more, no none of that shit. I was done with the football shit. I was done with it, bro. <laughs> Off that thunderbird. Cause, 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 cause my nigga them would turn up. You know, they upperclassmen, right? Them yeah. nigga would turn up, bro. I'm, I'm like, shit. <laughs> Mas- I was loaded. Message to the kids. Uh, don't drink Thunderbird. Thunderbird will make you end your career. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> shit, don't fuck with nothing, period, oh, children. Oh, then before we get out of here, man, we, I swear we gone, y'all, now. I'm sorry, my bad. Say, but any message, any word of courage you want to give anybody out there, upcoming artists, anybody out there, like, you know, you know any, anybody, just anybody who you think that need encouragement, you know what I'm saying? You got a few words for my viewers. Oh, uh, man, just believe in yourself. 
Right. Shit, encourage others, man. Be a beacon of light to somebody, man. Even if you having a bad day, man, try to encourage somebody, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But first, try to encourage yourself. Believe in yourself, man. You know, trust God or, or whoever you worship, you know what I'm saying? And that's about it, man. Love your family, man. Love yourself. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Be real with folks, man. Shit, don't, don't be a snake. You know what I'm saying? Shit, pay people what you owe. You know what I'm saying? Shit, handle good business. That's about it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how we live life good. You know what I mean? Just respect each other, bro. Nah, fair, you know fair, what I'm saying? Thanks, man. And hey, man, you keep doing what you're doing, bro. Man, you know what I mean? Nigga, it's appreciate up. It. It's up. It. It's up, bro. Appreciate you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, if you allow me, man, mm. you know what I'm saying? I, I know it's like some, some artists, man, you know what I'm saying? I just shoot it by you and see man, what you say. Yeah, come on with it, man. Yeah, man. Because I be trying to turn you on, too. Like, turn everybody on to, you know, what's been going on in Dallas. Like, like, do you know who Mr. Oak Cliff is, Bushy, or like Stampede, or Bowleg, and all them? I, I, like I said, uh, when I seen that cover that one time that was up there, I remember uh, going to school with Ro P. Yeah, Ro P. Yeah, yeah. You, you were talking about going to school with Ro yeah. P. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Shout so out he, Ro he, P. Yeah, shout out to that. He was yeah. Spruce, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? He he cool, dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't part of their clique, man. But you know, shit, everybody wow. was cool, wow. man. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that's how it go. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I seen you. Yeah, we all little men. Yeah, yeah, I seen you yeah, working yeah, 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 yeah. I know you were like, yeah, man, yeah. that's bro I was like, okay, all right, yeah. man. Yeah, so man, so we all like I say, it's always some type of connection somewhere. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dallas just like that. But like I say, I appreciate you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but sir. I had to give you your flowers. You know what I'm saying? Nobody never gave you flowers, man, because y'all hey, did that. Like I say, y'all put the you want to send the painting on the wall with the writing. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, you know. man. And we want to see everybody make it. Right. Man. I, I mean, you know that's how we all is, man. It's like, hey. It's there, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to T Town Music for even having oh, the yeah. CDs to go in there and G Lo, buy. George Lopez. Yeah, 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 for real. Shout out, man. And like I say, man, everybody out there, I appreciate you. Y'all tuning in. They say, man, let's get this channel up. They say, we need to get it. Hey, I, I need 10,000 subscribers. We need to flip this up to the next mode. After that next mode, 100,000 subscribers. We need. You know what I'm saying? We, we getting there. You know what I'm saying? So I love all my subscribers. Let's get this up there, man. Let's share this, man. Tell me, hey, tell me what y'all want more of in the uh, comment section. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all uh, share this. You know what I'm saying? Remix this. You know how it is. Stay lit the light. Now, my pot this. Be out. Block a tune, feet, hurt, slayer, yeah.